Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to DJ Gets Real. Welcome. <clears throat> Today, we have a, uh, well, we had a, an amazing performance from Vosh. Um, I showed this earlier, but wow. The Vosh, that was, a, that was a beautiful performance. Um, I don't know how, but uh, Vosh and F Frank Sinatra is just a great pairing. Um, and if you want to hear more about that, um, let me link you this guy's channel. Like this, I've been like obsessed with it ever since I found out about this yesterday. But uh, yeah, Vosh has an amazing singing voice. Thank you, Vosh. But yeah, subscribe to Voice Edits. Uh, they have like Destiny, uh, Nick Fuentes, uh, Keemstar. Um, subscribe to that channel. <clears throat> now, back to the Edwin coverage. Um, now, how do, how do I want to say this? Um, I feel like I can do better in my research. Um when it comes to Edwin, because I, I'm not, um, 100% familiar with the, with the seer situation. And I know he did a live stream with the, um, with Chud logic, right? So I'm going to be looking more into that because truthfully, I haven't looked that much into it. And that's been like a talking point with like the, uh, the anti Edwin crowd, like your Icos, your, uh, other people that have similar talking points right so like i i'm gonna i'm gonna do my best to be super duper charitable to every side but i gotta do some house cleaning first when it comes to aiko because um she is very she's very anti uh anti uh edwin but she's very pro xylee and like I don't understand the reason for that, to be honest, um, because I think her assessment on the matter is wrong. I don't think um, she's fully dove into the Xylee stream, or she just, like, she doesn't understand, like, what Xylee did, okay? So, let's get into that first. Um... Okay, so, um, around the time I did the last stream, talking about the, uh, um, <laughs> what's it called? Talking about the, uh, Milltown stream. Not Millhouse, the Milltown stream. I, uh, I was streaming basically the same time as, like, Aiko, like, her eight hours of coverage, right? I mean, to be fair, she did cover, like, Tipster and the Alberto stream, but, um, I just want to play a couple of clips pertaining to, uh, Xylee. So, we're gonna do that now. Apologize. Xylee already apologized, and not even, like, she okay. didn't even- let me play it back. Um, so, let me scroll down. Um. Okay, someone in the chat said, um... I don't see it now. Well, okay. I think someone in the chat said like, um, or let me just play it no, a, like, a little bit. I've been working 20 fucking four seven when I'm not live to finish this fucking video. So then you, you know, then you'll know. If Edwin apologized to Seer does. Okay. Yeah, here we go. So, um, plop lop or loop. <laughs> uh, if Edwin apologized to Seer, does that mean Xylee should apologize? Makes me conflicted a little bit. Um, <clears throat> this is a fair point, but then, um, this is what, um, Iko's saying. 
that me and Xylee should apologize. Xylee already apologized and not even like she didn't even say. She didn't even say. Just you wait until you, you can see. <laughs> Been busy a logging tips. Uh, if he he would have. So she's going with the Xylee did apologize. Well, um, I guess like that is um technically true she did apologize privately um and the public uh i guess addressment is saying she got too personal with this uh edwin salvo story but then she says this right apologize on his mate he has not po apologized when i say he hasn't apologized i mean listen edwin is like the most fucking fucking twisted person i've ever talked to and i've talked to mr girl <laughs> okay? I've talked to Mr. Girl. And maybe Edwin hasn't punched anyone in the face. Maybe Edwin hasn't punched any wives in the faces. But he has his own shit. Just remember, Edwin is a projector. The way that he projects everything onto Babs, saying that she's into age play or that she he was like scared and he thought that she was gonna get violent with him or something I, I don't know the way he flipped around the way he was uh, he says that she was plying him with alcohol now that was the you know all that stuff all the stuff i said before okay <laughs> so uh edwin is more manipulative than mr girl awesome now let's go to um Exhibit B of Xylee. Like Xylee did something shameful. You are so fucking stupid, dude. You are so stupid. Calls in again when he hangs up and apologizes for coming in hot. Well, it's running out of places and people to dude, talk just to. Acknowledge that Zali fucked up. It's not that hard. Zali so, did. Zali fucked up by apologizing at all. For anything. She didn't call him uh, a sexual assaulter. She was saying, I, if I recall correctly, that what Babs described sounded to her like uh, um, abuse. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh if i remember correctly keep in mind this is aiko who's been like doing like um 60 plus hours on edwin alone and spent keeping like notes and shit in her fucking notebook right here and uh i, I bet she, she says she's having like a video in the making that's gonna debunk everything right which i'm all for for the re release of uh, of the of her her video, I want to see what she has, right? But anyways, <laughs> the uh, let's let's just play that again. Xylee shouldn't have apologized. Xylee so did Xylee fucked up by apologizing at all. Okay, why why is that? For anything, she didn't call him uh, a sexual assaulter. She was saying I. If I recall correctly, if I recall co correctly. what Babs described sounded to her like uh, um, abuse. And, and this is like the point I was trying to make in my video with like the Nick versus the Xylee take. Nick is like, Nick's take is something like what Iko's describing here, where um, the Babs story describes like abuse like the way she describes it sounds like abuse right that's the nick take but then nick also says like it's agree to disagree innocent to prove a guilty yada 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 right i have no issues with that take because i think that's the correct take <clears throat> excuse me however right um <laughs> um her saying that, like, um, as Ailey said, what Babs is saying, like, what Babs described sounded like abuse. 
I guess that's uh, technically true, but she did a little bit more than that. And let me show you. Um, you now, I didn't cover this clip in my, um, my video because I thought it was redundant. But let's just use the word Ico use, describe, right? I have this in my control F feed. Now, all right. Let's back up a bit. Don't even play. Revzilla, why else would she be under her shirt? What? Okay, at this point, my blood is starting to boil. Why is that so Max steps in and calls it for what it, the fuck it is. At this point, my blood is starting to boil. Why else would someone describe themselves as hiding behind their shirt? You know who else hides behind their shirts? Little kids. And when little kids do that, what are they doing? It's because, I don't know, they're uncomfortable, they're shy. You know how little kids are shy and they try to hide their fucking face? They're uncomfortable. Why? else would she have done that and if he <laughs> did you guys hear the cat in the background let me play it up i didn't i didn't hear this the first time i was looking into it why else would she have done that meow <laughs> oh shit um why else would she have done that? Let's try to uh, answer this question in good faith, right? You know, that's what they call me. Good faith DJ, right? That's what the streets call me, right? Um, why else would Babs have um, her shirt over her head? Now, you guys probably in chat, if you're over the age of 21, probably known or be the person to be hanged over right and um let me just look at some like hangover effects like stuff that happens when you, when you have a hangover right because they were all drunk the the day before Uh, typical symptoms include fatigue, weakness, thirst, headache, muscle aches, nausea, stomach pain, vertigo, and I would say this is most important to the case, sensitivity to light, right? Um, now, if I look up real quick, um, light uh, sensitivity, uh, hangover effects. Um, right. Related to number of eye nervous system related issues, but mostly common manifests along migraine headaches and hangovers, right? And then like even look at this fucking woman in the thing. She's like covering her covering her face, right? So that could be a reason why she had her fucking um, hoodie over her face, right? That could be a reason. Um, but then Xylee says something else here, which is really important. Um, let me skip ahead. Right here. <laughs> the faithful age of uh, uh, 21, because no one uh, underage drinks. All right. Well, not legally, of course, in the United States. I mean, if you're in the fucking... Um, What's it called? Um, if you're in fucking uh, a different country, it's probably like 18. Or I guess like some countries have like 17 or some shit. I'm, I'm sorry. I should I should have. Uh, uh, <laughs> I shouldn't have had US bias in that. I, I apologize to my. Uh, to my worldwide aud audience. Okay. And people who do illegal activity of underage drinking. Yeah. I'm calling the cops. I'm a narc. I'm a snitch. I'm an op. Fucking face. They're uncomfortable. Why else would she have done that? And if he yeah. knows. 
what I know. Uh, when when she when she says he knows what I know, that's referring to Repsola. I didn't include this part because I thought it would be redundant. Redundant. Of like her continuing to say, I know where Rapzilla knows and yada yada yada, but uh, this is important to the point I'm trying to make here. Fucking face, they're uncomfortable. Why else would she have done that? No. And if he knows what I know then he knows why she hid under her shirt. That's why she keeps saying it. The missing info that uh, Xylee has all together, the missing puzzle piece, the math was adding up in her head. The equation, she's become a mathematician. I think those were the quotes, right? Um, yeah, this is not just, hey, um, I believe the story Babs is describing is sexual assault, but obviously... Innocent to proven guilty, yada, yada, yada. This is, I know information, and Rebzilla does too, right? And, uh, I believe it's essay, but Babs isn't saying that, right? I just woke up five minutes ago, want a co-host? Um, I'm not sure about co-host, but you can call in Colton. Hold on one second. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just I'm tired of like the uh, the mischaracter uh, characterization of like the Zyli stream. That's just like um, a good faith, honest conversation of like the car ride, because that's not what it was. Going to watch Shark Tank be right back. All right. Um, but hold on, let me link my Discord link in the chat if anyone wants to call in. Because I'm willing to have a conversation with anyone about this that disagrees, agrees, or in between neutral. Um, because there's some people that are very boastful, uh, like, very proud of the facts that, like, um, they claim Xylee did nothing wrong in the stream. And obviously, I don't have that opinion. I just wanted to double check chat. Am I allowed? Because I, I watched a little bit of my last stream. And it turns out I was fucking loud as fuck. And then, like, I, I turned down my fucking um, gain for this stream. So... I just wanted to make sure it's a nice viewing uh, experience. Hello, Abby Blackbird. Welcome to the DJ Gets For Real <laughs> show. Um, sounds fine to me. Great, 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 great. I can always count on you guys. Um, um, there's also another Xylee clip I want to play before I talk to anyone. Let me pin the fucking Discord uh, link. So if you guys want to join and, you know, get real with me, hold on, let me, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's on the, it's on the get real panel. We're getting real. Um, when do I become a mod? Um, you gotta defend my honor at all costs, Abby Blackbird. You gotta, you gotta be screwer through and through, okay? That's, that's how you get a mod. Anyways, um, let's play another clip that I wanted to play. I think I played a little bit in my video, but um, I just want to refocus this and provide a little bit more context. Because, like, I didn't want I didn't want my video to just be uh, the Xylee stream, like. But, um, you know, I, I had to, like, cut it down and shit. Oh, like, she's saying no multiple times, Thank too. Team. That's a sexual assault. That, yeah, but, but the thing like, is, she's not... Let me back that. it up so I don't clip it. So I don't, uh, clip it. Okay. If she was uncomfortable, and she was showing she was uncomfortable by putting the shirt over her face and they did not stop 
it is what it is that is abusive that is abuse that is sexual abuse that is sexual assault a, a sexual assault doesn't mean they have to beat the shit out of her to be an assault sexual assault does not mean you have to rape them for it to be an assault she it's was more than in a that car, she was in a car with two men on an interstate or a highway three or freeway where the fuck they call for, three, for hours, yeah, for three hours. That is a sexual assault. No, to be charitable to Zylie here, even though that clip is crazy, she did say if, 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 if she was uncomfortable and she was showing she was uncomfortable, right? But <clears throat> there's like other clips, right? That's not just like, oh, if this happened, right? Um, it, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of pointing the finger, right? Ziley, it's more than that. She's literally saying no. They're like, can we pull this car over? Let's pull over. We'll pull over. And she- Why is there a fucking southern woman in the commentary community? Yeah, that clips. Yeah, that's basically next take. That's the, um, right. But Ziley didn't just leave it at that, did she? She's saying no. Like, she's saying no. But yeah, why is there so many fucking southern women? Okay, listen. They, they don't got nothing better to do. Like, they're on the fucking farm, right? But uh, as soon as they get internet access, they can't stop, right? Oh, multiple times, too. Team, that's a sexual assault. (laughs) But but the thing is, she's not calling it that. So I don't know. Like, I know what it is. I, I know exactly what the label is. But I know she's not calling it that. But listen, you gotta understand... You got to understand that there are some women out there that would say this is sexual assault. You're a rapist. Basically, you're a predator. Right. right? That that Internet definition that we have. Yeah. Like not all people like if you leave the Internet and you talk to women and you're like you say this scenario, they'll be like, yeah, that guy's a creep. You call him a rapist? No. Would you call him a sexual? Would you think you were sexual assault? So many women would say just like Babs, like, no, like they would say no. So it's like the internet has this these extreme definitions for this type of stuff, but normal people, like literally normal people off the internet, they don't have the same extreme like fucking labels that the internet puts on this stuff. They would just say like these two guys were creeps, they were trying to fuck me. Like it would be so nonchalant like that was the situation. I'm, gonna be I'm sorry with but you came. I would have called it sexual abuse whether I was uh, on the internet or not. I have a <laughs> Oops. Yeah, so Kim is basically saying the point, like, uh, I guess internet people and normal people have different definitions, right? And then Zyla's like, well, I would have think it's SA or sexual abuse, no matter what the uh, scenario is. It's like, okay, dude. No, normal people also <laughs> run with fake stories. Zyla m- wants to ma- <laughs> makes me want to drink Monster. Uh, wear my cap sideways and punch some holes in the wall. Amazing take. But yeah, I'm sorry, but that long. You got to read between the lines, though, because like I, I think that there's a reasonable, there's a reason why Babs wouldn't want to go all the way to saying that because there can be legal implications with right. that. And then D Max is saying like, uh, Babs doesn't want to get fucking sued in court. It's like okay. We're gonna commit a crime. We're gonna do some crimes, chat. We're gonna commit some crimes in Minecraft, of course. But uh, you know, let's let's not get any legal legal people involved, all right? Because I'll sue your ass when I commit all my heinous crimes in Minecraft, right? Uh, okay. So that's why I wanted to play. You know, me being charitable, right? I don't I don't like the uh, fucking Ico's coverage of um hold on. Not that hard. Xylee so- did Xylee fucked up by apologizing at all. For anything. She didn't call him uh, a sexual assaulter. She was saying I if I recall correctly if that I recall correctly, sounded to her. Iko, look into your notes. Like, uh, uh, look into that fucking.
paper. You got your fucking notebook. Abuse? I don't know who Peepaw is either. Just like familiar with the name. Okay. So that, that's basically what I wanted to show with this uh, Ico stream she did like a week ago. All right. Now that's all covered. All right. We, we, we uh, successfully poisoned the well. Uh, now let's uh, look into the, uh, the seer comparison because, you know, I've seen the argument. It's like, I think it was like assistant sailor that like um, Edwin did worse than what Xylee did on her stream. Um, again, I'm I'm not particular, like well known in this. Like I I like schemed through this when it came out uh, seven months ago, and obviously I didn't think. Uh, um, this would be uh, like an argument being used seven months later on why Edwin's a bad guy. So let me um let me go over this video. Uh this is the problem with these situations being covered on a dozen plus five hour streams because anyone saying dumb shit can just be hind is it like I didn't see that clip? Yeah. Right. Because Th that's that's what people like hinge their arguments on. Like I don't think anyone uh watched um the uh the Xylee stream. I think I'm like the only person on earth that's watched it and not in clip form, right? Because people have seen like, I guess the bad clips, but uh, acts like she was just doing the um, the neck thing. Like I, I showed in my video, like, um, hold on one second. But yeah, it's not the same thing of what Nick said, it's like at all. And I can prove it to you with facts and logic and Quick. all that. Um, okay. Here we go. At the end of the day. But I, I think there are some people in chat who are saying, like, guys, guys, Babs did not accuse Edwin of sexual assault. All right? And that might be true. That might be true. To respond to this in a charitable way. When you imply that there's some sort of coercion that takes place on a car ride where the car is moving and you can't get out and that's your ride home with two men in the front seat and they're they're coercing you they're they're asking for consent a bajillion times now their version of the story is she's like, giving consent uh, and her version of the story is she's not um you're describing any sexual acts that transpire in that car you're describing a sexual assault okay now, obviously, it's a huge agree-to-disagree fuck-fest. It's not worth engaging with. That's why I didn't do it in my video, and I'm not going to do it now. But the point that I want to say here is it's weird if he says, yeah, we talked about it in private. I don't want to bring it up right now. I, you know, she doesn't want to hear it. She doesn't, wanna, she doesn't want me to say anything about it. Bro, if some fucking girl said some shit about me like that, I'm icing her, bro. I'm coming out. And I'm fucking, here's the fucking full story. Fuck this bitch. All right. Fuck it. All right. I don't even blame him for being aggressive with her. If he's innocent. So Nick is doing like the, uh, like under the guys that like Edwin is innocent, like in this clip, like he describes that what Babs is saying is more than what she like proclaims that it's like, it was fully consensual, fully consensual, fully consensual. He thinks she's describing essay, right? And I, I don't think that's like an unreasonable take to have, right? But um, look, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Um, this is what the Xylee take is, right? And this is just in short order. Like, there's more clips you can find in the Xylee stream. Him for being aggressive with her. If he's innocent. Babs told me everything. Everything. And all I needed was that last piece. And I got it. Babs is like, she's not calling it that. And I get that, okay? I'm not one. If they don't, I'm the type of person, no matter what the situation is, 
If they don't want to go to the police, I'm not going to sit there and go, you have to go to the police, all right? Because to me, it's their, whether they want to go to the police or not, or whatever, okay? If she's sitting there, she's not calling it a sexual assault, she's not calling it that. Me personally, I see it as what it is, and that's, that's what it is. If she was uncomfortable and she was showing she was uncomfortable by all right i already played this clip but you, you get what i'm trying to say like she she like almost like i would say braggingly she's like braggingly proclaiming i have the information and repsilla you know better because you cover stuff that are less than what edwin and salvo did and then she's like saying like Oh, Babs isn't saying it, but me personally, I'm saying it is. That that's that's the Xylee take. That's not the same thing as Nick, right? Nick is like doing like a hypothetical. It's like, oh, yeah, I I think what Babs is saying is essay, but it's agree to disagree, fuck fest. And if Edwin's innocent, I don't blame with him being aggressive. That that's the Nick take, right? That's not unreasonable, but the the Xylee take is like I know because I was in a call and I know everything about it, right? So a little bit different, I would say. <clears throat> okay. Um, if anyone wants to call in, now would be a good time. the the uh, The Discord link is on the top, right? Um, I just want. You know, I just want a conversation. This is DJ Gets Real, right? This is DJ Gets Real. And we're going to be getting real, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? I know Colton said he had to, like, do some shit. So, I think he's going to be calling in soon. But, um, now would be the perfect opportunity. Because, um, I, I want to cover the, uh, the Chud Logic stream. Because... You know, it is like, I guess, the defense of Edwin right now, but um, I can easily be offensive about Edwin if I know like the full, like I understand fully what's going on with like the Seer story. Well, do you need me? I'm trying to get ready. Uh... You guys can do whatever you want. I'm just saying it would be a great time for me to talk because I want to, like, segment this into two parts of, like, um, how Aiko describes, like, the Xylee thing versus the, um, the Chud Logic stream. I'll give you a roll, Abby. So you can just join uh, Collins or General, and I'll drag you in. Welcome, Abby Blackbird, to the stream. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, you're a bit quiet. Let me turn you up a bit. Okay. okay. Sorry, I'm on my headset. It's not my good headset either. It's my backup headset. Yeah, what's up? Oh, nothing. I just. Oh, I mean, I'm just calling in. I'm. I'm, I'm pro DJ screwdriver. Great. That's yeah. fantastic. Good to hear. Yeah. What's up with the salt of Peepa lately, man? He seems to not be a fan of you. Is Xylee changes? Really? What, yeah, when, yeah. What he you... said. Uh, he, well, he just. I won't say he's not a fan of you. Don't. Don't quote me, Peepa. But he was just like the other. There was like not long ago. He was just like. Ugh, oof. Like, whatever. Like, with the DJ screwdriver guy, it was so funny. Like, so passive-aggressive. But, like, oh I mean, God. I'm gonna get shit for that, I can see, but... Um, did he say that on whatever. live, or did he say it, like... I think it was a live. I'd have to go back and figure out which one it was. It wasn't too long ago. He said it. I was just, he's just like, whatever, and, like, put his hands up. It was so funny. I'm like, what did you say? <laughs> I mean, other than you know, just your shit on Xylee Parade. Which I mean, I, I I did call him an old fan. man, but I mean, I think that's factual. Um, <laughs> I mean, I I think I'm fair to him when he makes a point. Like I I had some criticisms with my um my last stream, but like I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, that was. I, well, I wish you'd finish more of the Milltown. Yeah, I had to. Yeah, I had to go. I guess like I can cover it after the 
the Chud Logic stream or what the video. What are you video. covering for the Chud Logic stuff? Because like that's where the uh, he interviews Edwin about the Sears stuff, and I want to have mm. a better understanding about that. Because like an argument oh, you is like. Seen it? Well, I've seen it, but I I want to like um like fully refresh. grasp it. Yeah, refresh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing yeah, is, that was, um, kind of a mess, but yeah, the thing <laughs> is, like that's like the arguments, like uh, Zylie, um, may or may not have messed up, but she apologized. Edwin hasn't done anything with this, right? So, well, like, it's not really like Edwin's situation to apologize for. Like in that case, it's more on if Mina has a problem with it therefore she should ask edwin to apologize and therefore you know because it affects seer right so if seer came out publicly and was like oh edwin's full of shit or mina's a fucking you know dumb bitch blah 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 yeah. um you know then i think it would be fair of people to have that expectation of edwin to have to apologize but it doesn't seem like any of those other parties are having issues with it it just kind of seems like a dead drama that was unnecessarily brought up because edwin does edwin and just kind of vomits of the mouth sometime however like i can understand as a partner of somebody that's quote unquote going through shit and you see going through shit because it kind of seems from the outside looking in um when it comes to mina and edwin that like they kind of were like trauma bonded through that situation with seer and dasha and that's just my perception obviously i can't be a prediction of it um but as far as like um that that goes i think that's not really a good parallel i think if if seer came out and had a problem with it if i mean i don't know if anybody actually trusts dasha to save their life but uh i think on the flip side of it if they had issues with it kind of similar to the way edwin and salvo have issues with it then it would be with their situation then it would be a parallel but it doesn't seem like a very good parallel in my opinion Okay, but I, I, I want to address this head on because like I, I don't know um, like the full the full situation, right? And like I know like Peepa said like some shit about this, right? Um, I don't think it's fair um, to like, you know, just basically brush aside Edwin um, because Let's just say he fucking lied about Seer, right? Let's let's just have that hypothetical, right? Mm -hmm. If you if you lied about Seer, I don't think it's right for um you know like the Zylie stream to exist. Like I don't think the I think those can be like um like it, it doesn't have to like coexist. Like just because Edwin said lies about Seer doesn't mean Zylie should misrepresent like his story, uh potentially, right? that she knows all the information that she, uh she's uh um she had a, a call with babs right and now it's like yeah, uh, yeah just because because you steal some bread from a store and somebody else steals a bread from the store but the other person goes to jail because they stole bread from the store doesn't mean that they're not equally criminals you know what i mean like mm -hmm. obviously that's a very dramatic um metaphor but as far as like it giving example doesn't mean that you're any less in the wrong on both sides or yeah yeah Let, let's just say like um edwin stole bread from a store yeah but then he becomes a store owner that sells bread then someone steals yeah. bread from his store that doesn't mean like it's ironic right but it doesn't mean that that should like occur right right like, right it doesn't make any more like more right or wrong i would i would say um like sure you can we'll say, say yeah, like it's moral, ironic like and like brownie points it's the moral brownie points game and it's just like you don't get to be better because you say you're better like you get to do better because that's what you get to do um and i'm not saying that like edwin's imperfect because he's definitely far from it but um he's mm -hmm. also been online for a long time as Zylie has as well and I mean, if they both have patterns of behavior, then why not fucking point it out? Which they do. Like, let's be fucking fair. But right, that's know. why I want to like go over the stream because like um, that I don't know. A hot mess, so. Right, right. <laughs> um, and, like the whole time we're all like, shut up, shut up, shut up. You can see the whole chat the whole time. Shut up, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Um, um, but like, I guess like 
an argument could be made because like um like there's the whole like ancient reality shit going down right now and like mm-hmm. there they seem to have like a lot of evidence like against him right but like um the ancient reality guy yeah yeah um i guess yeah. like and like people are saying oh pyro knew everything right um i guess like an argument could be made if he didn't have like all the details why would he like you know go out with the story like it, it's it's hard to talk about like imagine you know something bad potentially happened but you don't have the full um like the golden gun evidence right would you oh you ta- mean like would you talk about, about it right somebody's mother dying but well, they're not actually dead <laughs> that kind of evidence <laughs> I, I guess that could be an example but like um if you knew someone like um well it happened with like um i guess like the salvo cheating thing right that was like kind of swept over under the rug and like um people knew about it but like didn't want to like be the ones to like report on it well for me like it was like i didn't it wasn't my business like somebody else's marriage is not my business like right. the whole pop a gut shit like I don't care if he's talking to Ehos. Like, it's not my business. It's not my marriage. If she wants to be upset about her, then that's her. But I'm not going to moral grandstand and and be like, oh, well, yeah, he's talking to Ehos. Like, no, that's not my fucking business. Like, if he wants to do that and be that type of person, then, you know, that just, I mean, as Nicholas Diorio says, don't get involved with Ehos. That's mm-hmm. the first fucking mistake. I'm going <laughs> to drag Alex Gekmo to the panel. Oh my god. Alex Welcome. Gekmo, I'm such a big fan. Hello. How are you? I'm doing oh my great. God. Just came in I'm here. I've never talked to Alex Gekmo. Oh my god. I'm such I'm a sure huge fan, have. Alex. Not, yeah, not, I have, not I have a lot of fans. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> What's yeah, up, Alex? You know, I, I just heard him because I heard the Edwin talk. And I heard, like, I don't, I don't know if I'm grasping it right, but pretty much what I've heard so far is, like, like through his con is like two fake rapes don't make it right right so like True. Just, just because like edwin might be like weird with one allegation doesn't mean you get to mishandle another and yeah I that's like i guess the best comparison would be uh quite because like he was on the um oh my god he was on the i'm alex train right with like this uh this sows I can't say yeah. his name anymore. It's Lazo. Lazo? Um, yeah, it's Lazo and Salvo fucked me up because their names are too similar. But, um, yes, the Slazo allegations, right? Quite was very anti Slazo, right? And then, like, um, he had his allegations come out this year, right? And, like, he mentioned that in his video that, like, maybe he does deserve it, but, like, um, I, I, I don't think that's right for, um, him to have like allegations against them just because he might have <laughs> fucked up beforehand. Yeah. Well, and it's, it's fucking quite a huge creator comparatively, right? If I'm not, I don't know. Well, yeah, he has I like a million subs and like, yeah, I would say he's definitely bigger than Edwin. No, well, big, bigger than Slaza was at the time. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know how big Slaza was. Was <laughs> Uh, Slazo had like 100k subs, I think. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. But yeah, like, a bigger drop off. He, he had like a million sub channel, like a Reddit reading channel called like yeah, MKK. That doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't count. But yeah, he did have That's that. Like AI channels, like you can't take credit for an AI channel. I mean, he would read it sometimes, but he like hired like a guy and he left or some shit. There was some drama with that. I forget. But like, um. But yeah, that's that's like the example. Quite doesn't deserve like allegations against them. Um, yeah. Hold on, I'm well, gonna think, I'm gonna be right back. You guys can talk. My dog is fucking spazzing out in his dreams, so let me fucking wake him up. All right. <laughs> so, how's the uh, Abby Blackbird side of the internet been? I haven't been Great. keeping up awesome. with whatever side you, you kind of stick around with you know you kind of um, you hang around the now recording peepaw kind of retard space i've and been th- doing that, um, i'm scared to be around there but that's like a scary i've been place. doing uh uh 
It's called, you know, I don't know if you've ever heard of Plagued Moth or that creepy reading. I've been I actually covering, do um, know Plagued Moth. Yeah, the, I've been um, doing, um, sorry. That's a weird guy. All right, I'm back. No, I, I like him. My but dog yeah, sometimes, like, so. Am I, am I retarded or was Plagued Moth part of the Ringo story? I'm pretty sure Plagued Moth, like, dead named Ringo. Yeah. I don't know about Why are we talking about Ringo on this stream? Because you left. And we had to talk, we had to... <laughs> you told us to talk, and he asked yeah. what's going on yeah. in the Abbey Black. Sorry, my, my, uh, my fucking dog has, like, I don't even, dreams. And I don't he, like, even know about the Ringo shit, he, to like, be honest. He, Ringo was just annoying. That's all they well, were. I, I hate Ringo, but I'm pretty sure Plagued Moth was, like, like, for some reason, they had, like, a massive beef for, like, five years. When, Jesus when Christ! Ringo is like twelve years old. Like they've been going back and forth. <laughs> That's hilarious. If so hardcore beef between. But yeah, let's uh. Between a gore, a gore commentary creator and a, and a a weird Augie RFC fan named Ringo, apparently is the, the yeah, story. You know, uh, Edwin. Yum. Yeah, Edwin. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the fucking video, dude? He lied to me. He literally lied to me. He told me directly it was gonna be like a, two months ago that it was gonna be with, out within the week. I thought this was gonna be the summer of Edwin. He also says that he's gonna do short streams and they're never short, so do what you want. <laughs> information. Um, I I will say I'm in the Edwin Discord and Matt Pitt reminds him every single fucking day to release every his video. Every day. Yeah, every it's day. It's kind of hilarious. So Matt shout out to Matt Pitch. Yeah. Pitch. Rare Matt Pitt W in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll have to talk about that later, Alex. I'm so curious. Rare. The key. Uh, but yeah, I watched this uh intro of the um, uh, of the uh. Chad Logic stream, and I was just like, Jesus Christ, what's what the fuck is happening? Because like he does oh, yeah, like a yeah, recap. The whole time, he's like, he's like, it's such a Chad move, Edwin. That's such a Chad move. I'm like, dude, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> I never watched that. I yeah, never... I'm gonna I, go. I, like, uh... I'm gonna Edwin screenshot at that point. <laughs> yeah, Edwin Dow. Yeah, okay, this, this came out at the point where like Edwin was doing daily 12 hour streams with like drunk yeah. Keemstar. And like, we're, right, like this was like the peak of like the salvo fake campaigns. drama, right? Yeah, so of I was like, like, Yeah, I think I'm done with this. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I think the reason why this happened is because Edwin got drunk on his stream and he was just like saying, like, um, yeah, it's his uh, birthday Sear, stream. Sears, Sears, like a pedophile. Actually, no, he's not a pedophile. He's like a hippophile or something. A hippophile, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that, bro. So I, I think this is why this happened, right? So I, I just want to uh, let, let's go through it. You know, I used a P word. I was like, well, okay, not technically. I said it's a he, feeble file, whatever that word is, right? Okay, I guess my difficulty is is that's a pretty big claim. But you don't have anything to substantiate that. She she was deceived and like they would get her drunk and tricked her into being in a relationship. To me, I just think that's kind of crazy to say and, and like, have it sitting out there. Other stuff. No, they're just it's saying, off, just saying that it was with someone that's 16. That is it's mental. At the end of the day, it's like, it's not my, it's not for me to say. It's not, it's like, that's but the inappropriate But you said part. it. Oh my God. <laughs> but you said it, right? He just like completely bent over and basically got pegged by her at every... Turn. I think Wait, somebody... those, that's a group that covered up <laughs> crimes. What the f I probably don't have evidence of like that, but I have my own personal experiences. She was traffic, by the way. Essentially, I was. Stop! I would. Turn the faucet off on these. What is going on? <laughs> All right, so that was the intro. So you know, you're we're getting into the uh, the meat here. I should have watched this, dude. Yeah. <laughs> um. Right. And again, in the hypothetical that uh, Edwin fucking made lies about Seer, I don't avow that. I think that's terrible. Have Even you ever seen um, uh, Seer getting uh, entered into OTK? Like when no. they kicked him to enter the house? I didn't even oh, know man, who I'll Seer have... was until Edwin called him a pedophile. So no. I'll well, have I knew who that Seer video was. For you. You're gonna fucking die. <laughs> I know Seer was friends with like Onision and did something like drama <laughs> art host back in the day. And like, um, what what else did Seer do? Um, well, I know Seer and Edwin do you had remember beef. When, when, uh, yeah. 
yeah what's up did you know that do you remember when seer like changed do you remember when seer changed like the passwords of like or was like hacking in onision shit or something and like changed the path it was some like weird shit where like onision started freaking out and like seer recorded it because it was like the height of the onision drama right i remember and they were vaguely, still friends yeah. at the time. I have to yeah. yeah yeah it was fucking crazy i didn't know that was seer for a long time yeah yeah Yes, what's up, Chad Logic? I'm good, brother. How are you? Good, good. So, okay, so who, who um, are you? So uh, I'm Edwin, and uh, I've been a YouTuber since I was like a, in high school. But I mean, not technically, right? Because it wasn't always a, a job. And yeah, I'm, I'm 33. Believe it or not, I don't, I don't know, people think I look young, but so it. Wait, um, wait, wait. Keep it. I just re I just know this now. He's younger than fucking flamenco. This whole time. Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, you didn't know that? No, I always thought Edwin was like the old guy, like the oldest one, but... No, Flamenco's like fucking 35. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It didn't become a job until probably like, uh, I'd say, let's see, like 2016-ish, but you know, it, it became more comfortable around 2018 probably, and I, I kind of found my niche through doing commentary after experiencing my own personal drama and everything and um i started doing a lot of commentary videos like well-scripted research videos on my youtube channel edwin's generation and i always loved live streaming though like i used to be on blog tv then like you now and all these live streams blog tv <laughs> and with his hands up i would yeah. do live streams on the edwin's generation channel but then you like know, i would Jesus. private them because it didn't really fit the flow of like scripted content and then like me live streaming for like three to nine hours so then eventually I was like you know what i'll just make another channel so i made this channel homeboy edwin and that's kind of where i'm at now i'm i haven't really uploaded on that scripted content channel because it became kind of stressful it's kind of like hard it's harder right and then live little did edwin know that would be a lot stressful <laughs> coming yeah <laughs> is, is technically more fun yeah so that's where i'm at and i like covering drama topics yeah that's where i'm at okay cool um so I guess the main thing that my audience would want to hear about, because this is something that occasionally pops up. I like how Chad Ledger gets straight into it. It's like, who are you? And then he's like, what did you do? <laughs> well, yeah, dude, I'm glad he does, because I don't even fucking ramble for like 30 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your name came up coming to speak to you. So, there was a clip of you circulating that even Canute watched on stream, I believe, where you made some <laughs> allegations about Sia, who is a prominent like OTK guy. So... How did that happen? And do you still stand by the statements? Well, what, what I had said, I, you know, I used a P word. I was like, well, okay, not technically. I said it's a he, feeble file, whatever that word is, right? Um, and look, I don't know him anymore. I just know during my time knowing him, he did kind of text a lot of uh, younger fans. And uh, I, I don't know if the, the diagnosis would be um, that he has a specific attraction to younger people because obviously he had, he did have, is, is the ex-girlfriend that was psychotic that like ruined my friendship with him like it's, it's so funny because um lav messaged me about her last year but i, I didn't check the dm um until like what? before i even know about any of this but she told me like hey fuck? yeah i i, knew, I dealt with dasha she's psycho blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but anyways because dasha is a huge narcissistic narcissistic psycho and wait do you know Sierra, by the way i oh, know i i don't i don't know any of the oh, okay cool, cool. guys <laughs> uh but like basically like, you know, probably, I don't know what, what the, back when Snapchat was popping, like 2014, 2015, 20, yeah, 2014, 2015 for sure, like, uh, and, and you know what, like, I guess I can feel not comfortable, it's a very uncomfortable thing to talk about, but you know what, I ask you hard questions, and this is an even harder thing to say, but like, because it's like, it's awkward, and um, I don't regret it, but like, because I, I don't regret, I don't live in regret, it, but like, it's just, it's, it's a pain because, I don't live in regret. <laughs> Edwin would later regret that. Because, you know, the way yeah. people respond. I didn't even really get backlash, too. Like, I went on vacation shortly after. Like, and, and that live stream clip had happened on my birthday, July 1st. Like, people randomly circulated because of the whole OTK drama. Um, right. But, uh, yeah, because it was older. But uh, basically, um, like, I, I, even if I wanted to, quote, unquote, save my ass, like, it, this, I don't have to because I have... I, I know I know two women that like knew him in that time and then like uh, other people randomly like corroborated but like 
one of the girls sent me even one of the snapshots that he was sending like to like ask for nudes and stuff. It's like he would send like pictures of his watch and like and like he did send very lewd pictures and he had a whole Tumblr blog. Like it wasn't as it was it wasn't as like under undercover as people might think. Like people knew about his like sex Tumblr and everything. Like he was very sex Tumblr. <laughs> well, you know what? I actually believe him here because for some reason YouTubers of that era. They were like kind of just openly weird, like Shane Dawson, that Colleen Ballinger, like yeah. you know, all of them are, have like gotten into. Them. Well, uh, Anision would like rate like people he, on he'd stream, rate, like women. He'd rate like fucking little girls. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, like they all did this shit. Very like They're all like sexually sexual weird. with his fans. It was very and like if he hasn't deleted his tweets, you could probably see like tweets from his like 2006, 2016, 2015, 2014. You could see a lot of his sexual tweets like talking to fans and stuff if people really want so yeah i guess like um it's not um edwin doesn't have proof like on the hip but like he's like saying it like it's probably out there right and it's yeah. not crazy to assume that's the case because like he was friends with onision who did the same type of shit he's describing so it's a believable yeah, I mean, claim. it's believable for me yeah. Not just because of that, but like he also like he knew Seer for like many years. Like this isn't like oh I met him at VidCon once, right? Yeah, yeah. This is like an in depth, and like of course like it'd be kind of weird if he had proof because then like what were you fucking doing? Like you know like normal right. people don't just like record all their interactions with like their roommate. Like yeah, these yeah, were roommates, yeah. and you know so it, it it's believable. And then there's another girl. The problem is he like is shit at describing it. And uh, dig in if he decides he to talk, he decides to talk about it like drunkenly on stream instead of like really like trying to dive into the details. Yeah. Then delete his tweets. You could see it. That's just facts. <laughs> okay. So here's the thing though, right? Like, I think there's obviously potentially a moral question over the, the sexual stuff with fans. And certainly you can engage in like an inappropriate relationship if it's done incorrectly or done without care. But I guess like... That in and of itself isn't as big a deal as, like, the claim he was, like, talking to people who were 17. And I guess that, like, I appreciate it was an older clip. I didn't realize that, but probably something you didn't realize was going to circulate. They were, again. like, 16, 17, for sure, like, girls. Yeah. Okay, I guess my difficulty is, is that's a pretty big claim. But yeah. you don't have anything to substantiate that, I wouldn't imagine. Well, do you, I, I could fetch, like, a picture. I could send it to you if you want, like, of him. And, and the girl, I could get her a license. license uh She's from Australia, one of them. Like, get her to send me her. Of course, she's fucking from Australia, because that's what all, all Edwin knows. Yeah, why Why are all the women from Australia? It's all in the Edwin community. We need to stop yeah. Stop it. They're all criminals in their past lives. Like, license or something? Because, <laughs> I, I, like, you know, she was a fan of both of us, and she was like, yeah, that was kind of weird. And, like, you know, like, but at the end of the day, like, he he's never like pushed back on it and like he wouldn't because you know it just isn't like oh and i hate it because like this is like lav just did all this but it's like i i'm wow, confident yeah. in what i'm saying like i you know obviously i have a big reputation for like my channel and everything i wouldn't fucking trash it over this shit like me he was my best friend for a long time too and it's and that's also the annoying part because like i guess the criticism you can say it's not um provable allegations edwin's saying but like um I'm not saying like the flamenco take like allegations or evidence, but it's more credible coming it from his mouth than like just like a random like fucking chatter. Well, allegations are like the flamenco statements retarded because it was like hinged on like a tweet. From yeah. No one. But like when you're talking about people with something to lose who knew this person, of course there's people like I'm Alex who will always fuck it up, right? Right. Like it's something you have to note at least, and then like you can go further in that and see like how fucked up the story gets or like if there's inconsistent shit All right, like it's worth hearing out drag colton up hello colton welcome to the stream you're very quiet i put you at 200 it's not my fault oh. this time yeah you're in like a microwave is my mic quality bad yeah F hold on, hold on. Are you connected on. to like a webcam? I'm webcam looking at my webcam? audio issues like a motherfucker because I don't want to. Uh, the same thing as last time. Like I, I totally neglected it last time. Yeah. Let me see. Hold on. 
You're just very quiet. Son of a bitch. Come on. Colton only had an hour to figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, you had uh, breakfast and other shit you had to do, right? Breakfast. <laughs> breakfast at two. Wait, Colton, talk? Yeah, I had to watch Shark Tank. Now it's worse. <laughs> now, yeah, you're like underwater. <laughs> what? what the fuck? Yeah, you sound like you have you, a snorkel you're on. Quieter now. Yeah, you sound like you have a snorkel, <laughs> like in the in the fucking ocean. Uh, this is the guy taking down a uh, fucking gamer from Mars. Gamer from Mars and <laughs> reality. Craniac. It's still horrible. Yeah. You could literally say anything and get away with it. You're that quiet. You're like quiet as like a fucking mouse and shit. <laughs> like yeah, no one heard that. It just cut out. Yeah. Did you cut out? <laughs> yes, it did. It did. It's real bad. Wait, I got an idea. I have you on two hundred percent. Why is it? I don't get it. I literally like before I called in, I I asked someone like. Hey, is my mic quality, like, is it better? And they're like, oh, yeah, it's much better. You're ready to go, Colton. <laughs> Who did you ask? Put them on blast, Colton. Someone's who the fuck did this? Who, who the fuck did this? The Michael Jackson community? The Michael Jackson community. <laughs> so Epstein's island. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm going to give you some time to figure this shout out. Uh, you know, right? Yeah, right in chat when it's better, okay? Jesus fucking Christ. One job, dude. One job. The fucking Michael Jackson community <laughs> failed him down. The Michael Jackson. Dude, that's such a fucked up word. The Michael <laughs> Jackson community. His ex girlfriend's like, oh, I don't vindictive. Like, no, I, I don't even care. Like, I never I never did this for class. Like, I was drunk and said something dumb. Like, I, like, I mean, I presented it in a dumb way, but like, and you know, I never planned to even address it afterwards, but you know. I'm not going to back away if you confront me with it. No, sure. I just guess that for me, like, that's a... And the thing is, I appreciate you saying you can get the fucking license and shit. And, you know, obviously it's difficult to really manage that now and stuff. And I guess that, like, for me, if you're going to make a claim... Because that's, like, potentially a legal issue if it's someone that's 16, say. Like, you would probably want to have something together to, to put it out there. And I've just asked you about it and you just fucking said it. I didn't expect you to say it again. Like, Jesus, man. Yeah, I mean... What I, do you think like, about that? I guess... You, if you if you know someone personally, and you know what you're saying is true, but you don't have any evidence, should you just shut up about it? And like, that, That's about that's it? what I was talking about earlier. Like, what if, like, uh, like the ancient, real, re, ancient reality Pyro shit? Like, let's say Pyro didn't know shit, right? And, like, he mm -hmm. didn't have, like, all the information. Like, Toast of Fight did. Then, like, even if, like, like, he threatened to do it with one guy, right? But, like, even if he, like, uh, like, made the claim that this person is, like, a pedo walking around, right? Like, what good does that do if you don't have the evidence, right? Yeah. I, uh, I, I don't, I think... It's a, it's a it's tough weird. discussion. Like, it's if you, weird. yeah, if you have, like, the information, well, if you have, like, the knowledge of something, but don't have, like the golden gun evidence then it's tough to like navigate like an allegation against them and edwin did this when he was like drunk right yeah and he just like spilled the beans like to like eva and like all the other people in the stream right yeah so like um i think it's different than what xylee did of like i have the evidence but babs didn't give me permission for me to say that and she's not calling it that, but I am. And, like, I mean, Xyla could have been drunk, but, <laughs> like, it was, like, uh, what's it called? Three hours long or, like, five hours long, three to five hours long. Yeah. Like, so, I get Edwin's yeah. a bigger person than Xyla, like, in terms of, like, um, sub count. And, like, that's why the um, the clip went around, like, during the OT OTK drama, right? Um but like um i don't know i guess they had a similar approach because like edwin said like he didn't want to address the clip like in here and xylee obviously uh doesn't want to address it 
other than the uh, pin comment and uh, tweet about it. So well, I guess the difference is Edwin's here, right there. Yeah, right. Talking about it, where Zyli just ignores, hunkered down, yeah, ignores everything. You're fucking retarded. Like she won't. Like Edwin's saying right here, like basically, like he didn't want to address it, but like if you're gonna come at him with it, he's not gonna like run from it. He's gonna say what he knows. Which I think Edwin wasn't right. drunk during this. Right, right. Um, yeah. Um, I. I understand that assistant sailor, but what I'm trying to say, like, he was, like, um, confronted about, like, the thing, and he, he's, like, uh, addressing it head on, right? Now, you can criticize him for that, but it, I think it's different. Let's continue. So far, yeah, at least. I agree. Realistically, like, when there, there's no quote unquote victim, I guess nobody's, like, feeling guilty, right? Like, you do some kind of fucked up, like, but nobody's, like, like, the, per like, I, I guess I, I judged it. and you know it, it's weird to process it like back then I didn't really like understand it like or whatever I, I you know obviously because people might also say well why don't you say something back then because it, it wasn't it wasn't like I really processed it in the same way like you know it, it seemed like he was just maybe it was just because he had subscribers and he was just flexing kind of thing uh, but like also like close friends of mine also like he dated like a girl that was also 17 like like close friends of mine would, would, would corroborate it, but like then I see then I'm like involving other people and it's like awkward. Um, but obviously it's a drunk comment that I, you know. But you're now making again sober. <laughs> well, you're asking me about it. What do you want? I me to say? Well, I just, I don't know. I thought I thought you might say. I'm not okay. gonna squirm away from it. Well, no, I just. Okay, listen. <laughs> I just I see the question. You've gone fucking whole hog yeah. into it. Am I digging? Am I digging a hole here? I mean. To me, I just think that's kind of crazy to say and, and like have it sitting out there. And, and it's like... crazy that people have, but it, it, it's not as uncommon as you think. People people like take advantage of their power positions all the time. It, it's fucking cringe. Sure, but like when you're making a claim about a big creator, like I would want to have the T's crossed and the I's dotted so I could go, right, here's the proof of it. But then I... I, I can see both sides in this, really. Like I can see trust. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't actually have like a real answer. Yeah, so I can see like Chud's. Right uh, really yeah, I can see Chud's perspective. You like asked him because like it was like um, I guess like a topical conversation because like the OTK shit was popping off, right? And then like he didn't expect like a, uh, I guess like a real answer, right? But he mm -hmm. got it, and he's like, "What the fuck, dude? Like you're just gonna like, spill the beans without like a proper like uh, I guess like." evidence like document yeah document yeah document. right and then edwin's just letting it fly like he's like oh well i'm not gonna run away from it can, since you're asking me but i i can see both like angles on that yeah i guess the problem I would agree. be i mean what what okay what do you think should happen with sia on the basis of this um that's a good question i i don't know because i mean i was there wasn't i can acknowledge that i wasn't doing it responsibly when i when i was saying it obviously i was like you know wasted and it's kind of i don't know and you know like every now and then i've had people try to like whatever like try to like uh troll me about it but not so common anymore but yeah uh, um you know and it's funny because yeah he he had a big youtube channel and we used to make videos together and all that stuff and when i like exposed our personal drama and stuff on you my youtube channels like he just went to twitch and you know he's he's very charismatic he's very um social climbing he, he's very good at like growing and just fucking Damn, like he 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 did it on Twitch. Good good for him. But like I never I didn't have any intention. Like that was a, a, a stupid clip. Like I wasn't trying to do anything. So to ask like what should happen to him, I don't know. I mean, like even when I exposed him for my personal drama, like he wasn't even the worst character in my my story. Like it was his fucking psycho ex girlfriend. Psycho ex girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. Situation. I, I mean, I'm yeah. sure no one's gonna clip that. So don't worry about it. I'm sure. I I just think. Yeah, I nobody don't... nobody will clip this. I've got, I've got a thing where, because, I mean, it depends on the laws and stuff, but, like, that's potentially an allegation of statutory rape that you're making. With, if you realize it or not, I don't know. But if you're saying what, that... What am I... If, if someone is, is engaging in sexual conduct with someone who's 16, right, potentially, dependent on the laws of the given places and how that works, that could be some sort of statutory rape or that could be some sort of, like, you know... Uh, crime well, it, that's been committed like oh, you're, you're saying uh, someone you're potentially saying someone committed a crime 
which is very serious. And then you're like, well, you know, I can send you the idea if you want. But that to me just seems insane. But you've just, you're just saying it so calmly. Like, what the fuck's going on? Well, I mean, I don't know what, what's, what, what's expected, right? Like, what? People in their 20s have sex with 17-year-olds all the time. What? Like, the, people don't go to jail for that. Like, if it's, if it's consensual, like, it was consensual. Like, you, you know, like, I don't know. I... Okay, okay. <laughs> well, then I'm so, confused with the allegation. Yeah, so, I'm like, okay. If he... <laughs> yeah, you go, you yeah, go, yeah, yeah. So, like, Chud's saying, like, it could be a crime depending on the state, yada, yada, yada. It could be statutory rape. And Edwin's yeah. like, oh, it happens all the time. Like, uh, people in their 20s have sex with 16, 17-year-olds, and they don't go to jail for it. Um, so, <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. Yeah, um, well, I'm con- like, I am confused. Like, <laughs> that actually wait, that just threw me. Off. I don't know. Uh, I don't even fucking Edwin is like saying anymore, because like, on one like I thought he was, had the take of like, yeah, this is obviously really bad, but now he's like saying, yeah, well, this is normal, so he's not gonna go to jail. It's like, well, and he can't really say what he wants to happen. Like, if I was in this position. And I'm talking about my ex-friend who's fucking talking to minors when yeah. they're in their 20s. I'm going to be like, yeah, throw that motherfucker in jail, right? Right. But this guy is just like, yeah, you know. And especially if, like, they, they have a pattern of it. Like, if, they, like if, they, if they're specifically going after, like, 16, yeah. 16, 16, 16 year olds especially, you know, 17. Ugh, dude, that, the 17 question will forever fucking plague my mind. I literally <laughs> can't make up my mind with but uh, 16, yeah, I mean, if you're like... How old would Sear be at this point? I don't know. But definitely 20s. Like 23 or something? Like, you know, like 23 and 16 is fucking... That's no, uh... That's no... No bueno. That's no high school context, yeah. That's like middle school context. Um, <laughs> Preschool context. Yeah, that's just like school context. <laughs> Seer twenty four, <laughs> according to Echo of Tragedy. Tragedy. Yeah, no, that's uh, not. Yeah, that's not great. I th- like, so just from that, like, I'd be like, make this motherfucker lose his platform, dude. Fuck him. Well, I don't think. You know? Um, again, not a fucking lawyer or cop, but I don't think Edwin is wrong with saying like people in their twenties like have no, sex. No, with- that's a that's true. Yeah, because and I think. A large majority of states, it's uh the age of consent is 16. 16, right. Out, like, where I'm at. So, like, 16, that's, like, a lot of guys in their 20s do go for them. Yeah, it's but just, like, a moral and legal it, like, question. Great, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. Okay, so even if there was PR a situation prep. where, like... You said I need a PR prep. Like, like, it was consensual. Like, you, you know, like, I don't know. It does. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So even if there was PR a situation prep, prep. where, like, it was all legal say like this is 17 year old i mean you said 16 but like you know oh, well, well, okay okay there's different situations to to be clear okay like, well, like what the are the situ- please explain the situations go the because it, i think in the clip i said that the he had a relationship with a 17 year old and i'm saying that like certain people that he snapchatted with I, like there was one that was 16 that i know of so and what did they snapchat in that, your in your yeah, understanding snapchat. no what what yes. specifically did they say to each other um like he just asked for like Sexual pictures of her in her bra and all this other stuff. <laughs> this is fucking insane. Dude. That's literally a CP allegation. That's uh, that's worse than the, I, I think, like, legally wise than, like, the 17-year-old relationship. I'm not sure about morally, but, like, um, obviously, if you if you ask a 16-year-old for pics, then, like, that that's bad. That No matter how old you are. Even, like, Call me Carson. Like he shouldn't be asking that because that's like illegal, right? I mean, morally, I have no problem with like if you yeah. can, if you're gonna fucking meet up with them, right? right? Morally, like, like the, the problem legally, there's like no, it, like yeah, morally, like, like if it good. if it's in like the fucking um what's it called um in the wilderness and like no one fucking hears the sound of it, right? But like obviously you can't spread that shit around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, with the um, <laughs> like that—that's that's literally a, like a CP allegation, or like attempting to get CP. Yeah, like a what's that fucking word? I forget. Whatever zero did. Yeah. 
the yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I that's a real idea. Someone that's sixteen. That is it's mental. Fun. Yes. Oh, yeah, but you're doing it's it, and you've got no I'm fucking evidence. You're just saying, like, I'm always a big on like you've got to have the evidence to back up your claims, and you're just saying it. I appreciate you saying you'll get me the fucking idea in that, but don't you think this is fucking insane that you're saying this? Well, I'm just like, well, shook. Okay, so what is what is the alternative? Okay, if face, if I drunkenly said something <laughs> that that is true, should I just lie and say, well, well, I, what I said, even though I can't prove 100, percent actually wasn't. I lied when I was drunk. Like, I it, mean. <laughs> I've got an idea. Maybe if you, I mean, this is where it gets difficult. I accept because it gets to the point where are you trying to do a me too thing? And, and if you're bringing out evidence and stuff that gets towards. I disagree with Chud here. Like he was drunk when he said that. I don't think he was purposely trying to like cancel him because um, he kept this on for like years. He didn't just like, yeah. he didn't like say it like out of the blue. Right. I, I disagree with Chud here on that. It's the me too stuff. So it's, the, it's like you've almost inadvertently, you know, pretty much done a Me Too already without the stuff to back it up. So, I mean, I would say just leave it and say, oh, no, you know, say yeah, nothing. I did leave it. You're reviving it. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I'm reviving it because I want to know what happened and you're just saying all this shit. And like, well, I didn't know you were going to say that. So I'm like, oh, fucking shit. I don't know what to do. Anyway, listen. To catch 22, it's like Edwin spilled the beans, but like Chad didn't want the beans to be spilled, even though he asked him the question. You don't know what to do? <laughs> no. Yeah. We're live right so, now. We're uh, fucked. LSF, hello. Like, I don't know. That's what I think is going to happen, but who knows? When this LSF is too long for them to clip, right? This is way too long. <laughs> 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 probably going to get the clip of you saying he was fucking sexing 16 year olds. I don't know, man. You're fucking insane. I like that energy, but fuck, my chat is loving this. They're saying you're a giga chat for this, and I'm just like, okay. Like, okay, have you never known anybody that's done something sketch, and you're just like, well, well I can't say it out loud. Like, like I, I on the I, internet, you can't I, because of what happens on the internet these days. No, do you not think? Yeah, what happens on the internet? Like, what? If, if, look, I, I'm like. I acknowledge that I should. I, I stupidly said something drunk, like we said in the beginning. Like, well, I mean, obviously, Keemster is a dummy and saying to me in the no, face, right? No, you said he's like, sober. He, he, no, no, no. Oh, right now, yes. I'm right now. I'm saying it's sober because I'm not gonna back down from my drunk comment just because my drunk comment was based in reality. Yeah. You know? But now I'm like, damn it! I had to fucking hit up these women that like, because it's uh, at the end of the day, it's like it's not my. It's not for me to say. It's not. It, like that's but the you inappropriate. Said part. Oh my god! But you said it, mate. Oh my so, it, it would be like if somebody spoke up for. Evan Rachel Wood or something, right? Like I made a video connecting the dots for Evan Rachel Wood before she came out about Marilyn Manson. Like, but like at the end of the day, it's, it's for her to say, you know. So it's, I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't want to pressure yeah. anybody to say anything. I don't want to be fun, become fucking Mr. Girl here. Like, hey, oh. Well, according to Ico, uh, Edwin's more manipulative than Mr. Girl, or the more like slimy. Is that a real quote? Yeah, let me pull that up. Hold on. Oh my god, dude. Hold on. <laughs> Welcome back to DJ Get Real. Dude. Oh, oh man. My fucking God. <laughs> All I, of these people, man. I accidentally open Opera. Let me close that shit. Why do you have that downloaded? I had it before, like, they fucking posted cringe on Twitter. They're stealing. Dude, they're Chinese <laughs> spyware. Well, Chinese can have my spyware, okay? They can have my shit, okay? What are they gonna do with it? Fucking clone me? I hope you get. I hope they. I hope they dox you on Twitter. Like, <laughs> the Chinese Chinese government. I, I hope they leak this. I I love stuff. the Chinese government. Yeah. They're gonna like. They're gonna download. There you the go. Story from your PC. <laughs> and they're gonna leak it on Twitter and make fun of. Yeah. They're gonna see all the secrets I have on other people. Mm. So what am I looking up? Ico rules. And then. uh this one. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, dude. I don't even know how you pull that effect off. Just the glazed... <laughs> the glazed Edwin with the gay man so pissing bad, on his dude. mouth? Yeah. Why, bro? Uh, hold on. Let's... Let's... What was the word? Um... Or I think it's... Because, like, Xylee spelled in a weird way. Okay. Xylee should apologize. Yep. Xylee already apologized and not even, like, she didn't even say. She didn't even say. Just you wait until you, you can see. <laughs> Been busy a logging tips. 
uh if he he would apologize on his main he has not po apologized when i say he hasn't apologized i mean listen edwin is like the most fucking fucking twisted person i've ever talked to and i've talked to mr girl okay oh my god i've talked to mr girl and maybe edwin hasn't punched anyone in the face maybe edwin hasn't punched any wives in the faces And then he, he uh, she calls him like a projector of like everything, just... everything she's uh, he's saying about Babs. Uh, he's projecting. Welcome back, Colton, to the stream. Just... Have you fixed your microphone? Babs raped her cat. Can you hear me? Yeah, there we go. Jesus. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. All right. So it's better now. Yeah, a lot better. Yeah, baby. We're in business. Woo -hoo -hoo. She All didn't right. set me up this time. Let's go. What do you have to What do you have to say, Colton? What have you been wanting to? I've just I just want to I don't know co-host I guess. Okay. Is that the cool what's, what's your thoughts on this? I think it's pretty funny that well I I literally just heard before calling in like that he's worse than Mr. Girl like he's the most <laughs> fucked up person I've talked to and I've talked to Mr. Edwin's worse than a pedophile. I should shout out Lucas from Epstein's Island. She wants me to shout her out. So. Okay. Wait, is that a transphobic joke? The, no, no, it's not. Uh, she's okay. not. I don't think she's trans. It's just her name. It's br British. Does that make it? Does, does that make sense? Oh, uh, you're not talking about Kef. Okay, hold on. No, you know, oh, oh Kefel. Fuck you. <laughs> I hate how I thought of that like last night. <laughs> yeah, Kefel, Kefels fucked me over. That makes sense. Wouldn't be the first time. Yeah. How are you guys doing? Are you having a lovely day? Yeah, we're having a lovely time getting real. This is DJ Gets Real. Well, Most real is There's platform. nothing that makes me happier than talking about rape and pedophilia. It's True. just my favorite hobby. Uh, Being from the Michael Jackson server, my favorite hold thing on. to talk about is pedophilia. We gotta, we gotta play a clip. We gotta play a clip. It's called um, Alex Getmo says what everyone's thinking. Bro. That's my <laughs> second most viewed video. It's gonna be him saying slurs. It's cause I spam- I spam the tags with like... I think- what was this? The uh... This is the fucking... Guy. Right, hold on. Name. Yeah, here we go. Just stop. <laughs> hold on. Just... Alex Gekmo, you're on the air. What do you want? Make his next oh video. no! Whoa, I've just come in to say that I think you need uh, Dong Chow and fucking Bing Bong to be able to tell their stories. Dong too. Chow and Bing Bong, you realize <laughs> it's like Chinese New Year, right? You can't say that. <laughs> oh my god! Dude, th those Jesus. are real people who need to tell there, their stories. There's story. no way fucking Ding Dong, Ping Pong, and fucking Ching Chong are real people. Dude, okay, what did you want to say? Okay, one of those is real. Uh, I just wish man. that I wish the story had more rape and pedophilia because yeah, then I'm. Oh, the fucking hell, dude! This is the best. Oh my god! There was no rape and pedophilia. To be honest. Oh my god! Have you ever tried vetting your calls, man? No. <laughs> the soy. Uh, have you ever tried betting your calls? <laughs> dude, dude, Look. it's. I can't believe Tim Doc on the radio fucking broke the LS Mark story and like solved well, it. I'm one pretty night. sure I was the vetted call because I was like a <laughs> semi-normal person in normal call, but I just decided to meme hard. Yeah, I should have brought Colton in. Actually, speaking of Colton, a DJ, I, I gave you a, I sent you an image. It's a new waiting screen if you want to use that. Hold on, let me check it's, this out. It goes fucking hard. This belongs in r slash images that go hard. Nice. It'll never Is go it harder than that photo it's... of Froki in front of America. Okay, that's oh, thank. Isn't he a minor? Good one. Uh, uh, it's DJ, a that's photo of the Moo Moo Meadow. Look, yeah. DJ, you need to use that. It has my guitar and Godzilla holding a lightsaber. There's nothing more badass than this. Okay. Please. I'll, 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 I'll keep that in mind. I, I, I don't want to make adjustments on the fly, because, like, I don't want to break shit. But, um, let's let's continue back on the... Watch this. Alright, hold on. I got it. I accidentally closed out my shit. You're joking, dude. No, I use a P where... Fuck. Okay. Where were where, where we? I think I, I made a video connecting remember. the dots for Evan Rachel Wood before she came out about Marilyn okay. Manson. Like that, that's like a good timestamp. <laughs> um, okay, let's, let's. All right, guys. I just asked Lucas if they're trans, and they said no. So it's a she. But like at the end of the day, it's it's for her. Just, just a chick with a dude's name. All right. Is it Kefels? 
No, no, no. The person from the Michael from that Jeffrey Epstein server. There's two trans Lucas. The the Michael Jackson no, server. This is this is the cis Lucas. The the real the no. I mean biological. Well, I mean. I'm pretty the, sure the, the cis Lucas was the original Lucas. Well, I guess. I'm, I'm yeah. probably retarded. She's probably. always been Lucas. Stop who is Keffels? Wait, seen. she doesn't even know who Keffels is. What the fuck? But she knows who Nick Diorio is. Okay. Anyway, I can't. So add one. Add one. Hey, you know, so it's. I mean. I don't know. Like, I don't want to pressure anybody to say anything. I don't want to be fun become fucking Mr. Girl here. Like, oh, hey, I, I, I clipped that perfectly, Alex. I'm, I'm yeah. the goat. Oh, Seer, this. Do you want to? Like, Seer was a sh shitter to me. Like, I don't. You know, it's not my investment. I don't know how to say this. Okay. I guess. Okay. So, do you think Lav was wrong in what she did with Hassan? Um. Yeah. Yes. False. Because. Right. Because, see, the difference there is she, like, like well, I mean, I, I'm not sure because the way that Hassan told it was that he checked with the woman and that, you know, he implied that there's legal references and she didn't want it out, etc. And so, and then didn't, didn't Lav also respond, well, if she said she's 19, then I guess she's 19. And so, it's like, that was just stupid. So, like, she's not actually sticking to it, right? Am I right? Okay, okay. Yeah, but the false. thing is, in terms of, like, evidence has been presented you have both presented the same amount of evidence to back your claim up. That's what I think no, the this issue is, is from where I'm claim. sitting. This is a retarded comparison because the difference is I don't think any of the that Edwin is referring to have come out no, I was actually 19 years old. Like, right, yeah. Lav was straight up lying. Mm -hmm. Edwin, while he doesn't have evidence, is making a claim he believes. Like he doesn't have... um like a golden gun evidence like he said like he, he has proof smoking like gun. yeah smoking gun like um golden gun yeah um what was the um uh well yeah with lav like she was like saying a story from like someone else like edwin knew seer like directly like lav didn't know hassan so i think it's a yeah, smidge bit different circumstances well and Again, like Lav should have lied. Like she, like she acknowledged, like she lied. Like this is like not a real story. <laughs> like the girl was obviously a bitch, and the the girl came out and was like, "Lav, shut the fuck up." This, yeah, like you're right. just straight up lying about. Why did Lucas? <laughs> Sorry, Lucas joined DJ server. <laughs> The Michael Jackson servers invade in commentary. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's it's the Chris Chan right. like merge of realities. It's You're responsible for concert. Lucas. If they do anything, then it's your fault. All right, Lucas. Why are you harboring pedophiles in your server? <laughs> well, Lucas is 17, so. What the? F Wait, <laughs> I I gotta I gotta look in my server. Am I harboring any pedos? I mean, 8030s in here. Yeah, let's let's look if any smaggles or spawn dials. Um. 8030s actually. 8030s in here, yeah. He's a pedo. <laughs> Great. Smaggles in here. Let's Edwin's in the server. <laughs> <laughs> Ed Lucas, you're not in the server with Edwin. How does it feel? Uh. Doc on the radio is in the server. He's kind of sus here, right? He's <laughs> Is he? I don't know. Yeah, well, yeah, the, the, the kitten. The kitten. That Isn't story. He Asian? Kitten? What's the age of consent in Japan? Oh, true. Never mind. <laughs> um, anime Sage is here. Uh, he likes some um, anime girls, so he's kind of <laughs> sussy. That guy fell off after Doc stopped. <laughs> Why does Lucas know? It's 16 now, no longer 13 L. I forgot about anime Sage. Jesus. No one talked to him except Doc. Anime I like anime Sage, okay? Chill. I miss that. Well, that's voice cracking a half. When's the last time you saw him around? <laughs> well, I haven't seen him around. That's that's fair. But I liked when we talked. Doc stop streaming. Yeah. I talked to Anime Sage a couple times. He was chill. He was a homie. We smoke weed together on Sundays. Him and I and the spiders. Cool. Who else is here? All right. Hopeful Blue. That's valid. She's definitely a pedophile because she didn't like that I ripped off a llama from her. <laughs> um. She literally made a tweet like "Justice for my llama." And I'm like, "Fuck you! I'm keeping Louie." Okay. Um, awesome, Colton. All right, Edwin. Ba back to back to Edwin. <laughs> back to Edwin. Maybe we'll yeah. Stick so on if we're talking about the the current space of the right internet, right, where people want to sue for defamation, well, what happens in that? People need to get, um, uh, like they need to go under oath and all that stuff. Get cross-examined. Pull up like 
people to uh, witnesses and everything. And so, okay, well, he would never pull the witnesses. Like, what? He would never respond like Hassan responded. I guess. Well, to be fair, I don't think um, Chad's saying like this is going to court. I think what he's saying is like it's the same bit of like information like with the lab story like there's not a lot of like provable information about it which i think is retarded but yeah i think edwin's misinterpreting yeah. it guarantee that guarantee okay so all right let me just get this straight so you're saying my, my drunk lip would have been more easier to debunk than what i'm saying now i would think more easier so you're saying you're saying this <laughs> and you know it's true so he's not going to respond to you because he knows he won't be able to win defamation essentially well, just, it would just be digging himself a hole because then like he'd be scared like what if they do say stuff mm. like he was extremely sexually promiscuous that i can believe and like and, and even like there's like another story okay where, thanks like, edwin you know that i like there's a lot like and whew, but i don't like anything i say right now it's like you're walking into a minefield and i'm seeing it you know like somebody should t say to me talk less i mean sh okay okay right listen i i'm i Why do apologize i feel like <laughs> whatever's happening right now i didn't mean to walk you into a minefield he's got a purple cup <laughs> Dude, I hate the handler mentality where it's like, yeah. oh, I need to stop. Mm. Just yeah. do it, dude. Honestly, I expected to ask you and you go like, oh, no, I was drunk and it was a silly thing to say. But you have just giga chatted straight into it. Like, I, I just, listen, mate. <sighs> okay. I just wanted it on the record. My frustrations with the way that this has been presented. And I just I think it's, it's a bit reckless to say <laughs> things without having the evidence there and then to, to back it up. I do understand where you're coming from, though. You're just, you've got this insane energy, I guess is the way I'd put it. And I kind of like it, to be honest, even though it's fucking crazy to me. Um, so, Mr. Girl Wait, says pause. he had you know a. What he reminds me of? Go on. He reminds me of those, like, like paid off like uh news anchors, like for Entertainment Tonight, who go, I love Cardi B. She's just so unapologetically herself. <laughs> like, that's what he reminds me of. That, that's literally didn't have to bury Chud like that. Come on. I mean, he clearly wants out. He wants to fucking kill himself right here on stream live on Twitter. <laughs> We're only 15 minutes in. Yeah. Oh oh parent. Jesus. Does he, does he have to bring hour? receipts? Gonna... All right. We're we're gonna we're gonna speed this up, chat. Yeah, I'm literally about to suicide, babe. Put on one one point five. One point five. Let's zoom in. Let's like, go well, through I guess time. Because the mom's not in public figure. What is the rules? Okay, here? okay, okay. Let me explain the rules. Put this okay. on 88 miles an hour. Okay, let me explain the rules. I mean, I can do that. Like, I have the option to go 16 times speed. You ready? I watched it in like 3x. What the much. fuck do you have? You ready to hear a video on 16 times speed? Do you have I like a Kaffel's computer where you I feed think it the audio poke? cuts out? A Alex Gekmo gave me this. So I think it cuts out at 16. Dude, yeah. it's like he water cooled his PC with coke infused water. That's 16 times speed. Oh, it cut out. <laughs> yeah, I, think <laughs> internet can handle I, think, it. I think 8x is like the highest you can go without it being like weird. Alright, let's go back to 1.5. Alex, Alex is literally the dark bond of the community. He just gives people random shit. He doesn't know if it'll work. Wait, what Not do you mean I know it works? Nick has this shit. I see. I see. <laughs> see on his streams. This shit's awesome. I watched. Yeah. First of all, three times yeah. I can boost the volume. This lightning thing. I can yeah, boost it. I need that for my fucking mic. Probably be contacted. Not saying you have to do that, but that's how I see it. But then on top of that, that potentially is adding an extra element to this. Someone doing some like, what I gotta do to do three and super money and maybe more of the things they can shout for me to go to. Wouldn't it have to be that somebody about to press charges though? Like, or what? Like, um, sure. Even then, I would just, I personally would be very cautious. I'm often very critical, and I feel like I've been critical here. But I'm often critical of people who will present something that is potentially illegal without really substantiating it there and then. And that's all I'm saying, right? Well, you know, it's kind of cool that you're you're not able to be super critical so far. Maybe it's because we're on the spot, but it's good for me, I, I guess, right? I mean, I, you know, I'm just a bit shook. I don't know what to say. Like, <laughs> I feel like I've kind of laid out my disagreements. I don't want to, you know, I, I can start screaming no, at you, I I'll guess, but I don't know. That seems crazy to me. The the criticisms that I probably have gotten before is like, um, well, why didn't, why didn't you say anything? So I was like, well, I didn't, like, I just, I was stupid. I guess I didn't understand it. I didn't process it, whatever. Like, I didn't, I didn't realize that, uh, like, to me, it just seemed like a young fan. Like, okay, then I'm gonna, then, then like, pe like, some people actually reached out to me and told me about it. But like, you know, like, it happened to me, like, people were talking, reaching out to me when I was ongoing my different drama with him, which had to do with him being completely emasculated by his, I believe now, ex-partner, Dasha, who's a complete psychopath. And, you know, he was, he just, like, completely bent over and basically got pegged by her at every fucking turn. And, um, it's just embarrassing. God, he just, like, I'll, I'll just talk about how he's a complete pussy for other reasons, for sure. That's factual. But, um, uh, that's a distraction. Sorry. So, um, that's yeah, when I was going through this different drama, people will, of course, you know, coming out the woodwork telling me all this information. I was just like, well, if I come out like this, then it's going to seem like I'm like just trying to fucking cancel him, which is, was not the intention. And it's an awkward situation for me to navigate for sure because of the points that you're presenting. Sure. And, you know, 
I, I, I didn't anticipate any of this. I appreciate it's difficult for you. You know, I don't want to press you too much on this. I think I've laid out what I think about it all. I'm not saying you should even go to the police. I mean, that's obviously your discretion. If the people aren't looking to... So also, because yeah, you, know, you, you asked earlier, like, what should happen? Because, like, the, the instances that I'm, I'm, I'm citing are from roughly 2014, 2015-ish, maybe 2013. I believe those are, the th like, three years-ish that I, I could probably look into. And, I mean, I'm not saying possibly, probably, for, not for sure factually, but, like... Um, yeah, so I just want to point out, everyone knew about this, like, since, like, those years, like, 2013 to 2015, but I only talked about it, like, within this calendar year so like so he was harboring pedophiles <laughs> yeah he's the fucking yeah, I mean, what's the more criticizable thing not to talk about it or to talk about it <laughs> well i guess talk about it and then to talk well about that's it. why i don't think he talked about it because like it's it's tough to navigate if you if you, like because oh, wow. what what chud's saying like he shouldn't talk about it without like proper evidence and then like edwin's doing the opposite here and like giving him like the full story and he doesn't have like shit on like hand, right? Mm -hmm. So like, I feel like it's um, a tough, tough situation to be in. I this think this would have been better if did did anyone know he was going to be talking about this? I don't. Did he know? Think so. I mean, I could ask him. <clears throat> but I feel like uh, what would have been more productive is if Chud asked him to get everything together, like right. get the like get. All, I, I know the girl calls him at some point. But like still like you know getting driver's license mina does yeah mina yeah, joins mina the call doesn't. yeah 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 what the f mina joins there we go <laughs> yep uh he said earlier he didn't want to come out with it because other friends were doing it too and he didn't want to implicate them who's um, the other friends what the <laughs> fuck other Is friends doing it <laughs> so edwin was harboring pedophiles wait echo yeah. of tragedy aren't you wait what did echo of tragedy <laughs> I thought you were gonna be I like I go, I go tragedy. Are you a pedophile? <laughs> I was literally gonna say that. What did Echo tragedy? Dude, angry I remember slug he like... says he got angry. The angry slug said he got. Dude. Well, yeah, I trust. I trust angry slug with all my <laughs> uh, information. Yeah, I trust angry slug more than Echo of tragedy. Echo of tragedy's always been wrong. <laughs> it's been like, slug takes like seven years since the earliest thing that I could probably think of. So what? What? If, if he's not doing anything and nobody wants to speak up about it, like, what can I say? Like, oh, yeah, don't let him be around. I, like, honestly, the only thing that I've seen, like, as far as I know, if he's behaving well, okay, I guess, right? I, I'm not gonna, I'm not the police, whatever, but the only, the only picture I've seen that concerned me was the one where he was with Hassan and somebody else, and they were, like, dressed like, oh, like, you know, because that's, like, such a trap for, like, young fans to be, like, what, you know, they cross-dressing. Were... I, I disagree with that one. What is this? Because, like, because they, um, dressed, like, I know what they're talking about. They had, like, uh, like, weird dresses on or whatever, right? Like they were playing dress up, and like Edwin's saying, like that was to lure young girls or some shit. Why? I think that's wrong. Like, huh? Is that he like yeah. that's like Styles lure too. I guess he, he is. I, I yeah, I think I agree with Edwin on that. Harry Styles is a fucking <laughs> he's True. a p word. Happy for like that's like a little girl thirst bait. No, like oh, adults oh. don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at John's face. When he's <laughs> Am I wrong? You know well, what I'm saying, right? Were, I think you're wrong, Edwin. They were, they were dressed up as women. Yeah. And you were saying that little girls are going to be more interested in that. Well, um, certainly not adult women or even little boys. Like, girls, like, younger younger audiences like, are into, oh, my God, he's out there being silly. Like, oh, my God, they're, I, don't know, I don't know. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Wait. I'm looking at the chat. Someone said, there's bait. Wed one. <laughs> so some people agreed. Um, oh, my God, stop digging, stop. Real Edwin. All right, so it's about 50-50. These Chats are people who Chats. hate Hassan. <laughs> I can't speak to the yeah. majority of a 13-year-old girl or whatever, okay? So I don't, you know, I'm not sure. I think that that would be something that would have appealed to older women too, you know? I, I think, okay, I guess a real take on that is like, I think women sometimes fear masculinity and they like the idea of a feminized man, sure. Mm -hmm. And they feel safer in that respect. So seeing a very masculine presenting man, normally like, say, Hassan, dressed in a feminine way is probably quite attractive to women because it reduces that fear of masculinity. I don't know. That's a real take I give on Hassan that. But I don't so know if this is like a little girl thing. I, I like how we're looking in depth into like Hassan dressing up in like a dress. Can and get a like... woman to call in real quick? Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Any woman in chat? Uh, <laughs> women. Hey, Lucas, come in. Women. Like, go back to your fucking days of like, you know, a youngin. All right. Would you? <laughs> would you think this way? Were you a fan? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, even better, a minor. Okay. <laughs> All right. Come on. Come on. A, a little girl. Call in. <laughs> the big Wait, comments. No, the strong comments. Wait, no, we can't ask him that or the, them that. 
Yeah, because hello. She said hello. All right, join waiting to call. Join, <laughs> join general. Wait, this, general. This is bad optics. I don't, I don't care about optics. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> join. You have nothing yeah, to she's lose. In. She's in. <laughs> All right, hold on one second. <laughs> hello, Lucas. Hi, Lucas. Um, hello. What? What's going on? Are you in the Michael Jackson community? I am in the Michael Jackson community. What's up? Okay. Well, that's not what I'm here to talk to you about. All right. So imagine, <laughs> imagine someone's like in a, like, a manly man is in a dress. Like yeah, they're like, Seer. yeah, Seer and like uh, Hassan. You know who H Hassan is? I, I I recognize the name. Yeah. Okay. So they're they're dressed up in skirts and like they're wearing like girl clothes essentially. Is okay. that like um? How would you feel about it, uh, like now versus what you would feel like as like a young, a like, little girl? Yeah, if a I was little, a girl. little girl. I would have like. <clears throat> is that thirst like bait? The, the first bait. Would yeah. Drawn you in. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. We solved the puzzle. I think that's pretty definitive. <laughs> so Edwin L. I speak for all women, and I say no. Okay. Well, you heard it here from the woman, the representative. Uh, and, the woman and like, I am currently as a 17 year old silent. female, as a 17 year old female, how would you feel about it now? I still don't think it's first bait at all. I don't but you, care. But you like Michael Jackson, who turned <laughs> into a trans woman at the end. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we visited his island, his Neverland. His, never <laughs> his, ne his Neverland Island. Yeah. Okay, well, I really appreciate the call, and I feel like we really. Uh, yeah, we, we learned a lot. Form. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. We hope to have you back sometime to talk about uh, Jeffrey Epstein and Michael oh, Jackson. Shut up, Colton. Fuck okay. you. Okay, that was something. <laughs> um, I'm clipping the. <laughs> <it. laughs> oh, you should. Echo of tragedy. DJ screwdriver Alex Ekmo and Colton Groom commentary <laughs> minor live on no, stream. That's not the title. Transgenderism. Okay. Echo of tragedy. Talks cross dress. Cross dressing <laughs> is more of a young woman, older woman fetish, unless you pull up the k-pop card with makeup thank you echo of tragedy. literally just said a whole lot of nothing <laughs> okay I'd be like yeah it's young woman thing. slash older woman what so, so he's excluding middle-aged what, so what does... uh, all right the point being i disagree with edwin and so did the other person okay wait how does, <laughs> how does this relate to this edwin what are we watching i'm so confused what so edwin talking about the child trafficking what does that have to do with his allegations or is this just a different well, thing? He, he was just saying like the um the dress thing like um like of, of him seeing like Seer recently trying to like bait like I guess little girls or teens. <laughs> <laughs> no, he uh he's asking how does this relate to like the Bab stuff in the Zyla? That's what he's. Asking. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's what um Colton's asking. Okay, so Iko um is what Colton's asking. Yeah, ho yeah. Iko had a stream right and like um. She said, like, Xylee didn't um, basically do anything wrong. The only thing she did wrong was apologize, right? And, like, I, I, I don't agree with that. I think she, like, very up to the line of calling them, like, abusers and sexual assaulters, right? They did. She did. Yeah. She just called them, like... Right. She said it was sexual assault. So. Mm hmm And um, this relates because... Um, it's basically saying like, oh, Edwin did something worse with Seer, right? Like Edwin made this allegation. Zyli didn't do that, but Edwin did. That's that's like the uh, oh, the argument. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What Zyli should say to save herself is it was just a little bit of assault, but a whole lot of sexual. Well, she just be... won't address it. So. Well, I I asked someone like um, that's like making the claim that like. Edwin didn't do anything, and Zyli apologized perfectly. I'm like, if Edwin said, like, he got too personal with Seer, would that be appropriate? Because that's what Zyli did. Zyli said, I got too personal with the Savo and Edwin story in her uh, fucking right, yeah. twit longer and YouTube comment. I don't think yeah. that's an appropriate response to, like, what she did. Because, like, she's basically saying, like, I got information that can lead to the arrest of those... <laughs> Essayers, Edwin and Salvo. Like it was a little, it was a, it was very sexual. Edwin was very sexual, but it was only a little bit of assault. 
Yeah, just a little bit, just a taste. Just a little bit of harassment. Yeah. It's like sexual assault light or something. Right, yeah, diet, yeah. diet sexual store. assault. It's the yeah. free diet version from the app store. Yeah. Yeah. Diet assault. Yeah. But... <laughs> Carbonated cum. Yeah. Sorry, I'll stop. So anyways, that that's how it relates. It's like, Edwin did the same thing Xylee did, but worse. And he also sucks dick. <laughs> I'm point, I don't even see the picture. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, well, listen, look, I didn't want to turn this into like a fucking debate about the thing. I look. I don't even think we're debating. Look, it's good. You know, I deserve to be grilled <laughs> for, for that. Like people deserve it, whatever. If I'm a critical uh, YouTuber around other people, you know, I do this for a living myself. Then whatever. Like, I mean, Keemstar did also ask me questions about it as well in a live stream. But like, you know, I, I don't. It was one of those like ten hour live streams which I make members only. So I, I, I feel like making a vod out of it, like clipping and highlight on my channel, feels like I'm going out of my way to like, you know. Uh, Keemstar asks Edwin that Keemstar always scheming, always plotting. True. Make it a, a bigger deal, which I didn't intend to, but... Sure. I, I, I think my perception of this is that, like, I, because I... You, you must cover stuff where it's like, a person has come you're out. Gonna put this. I didn't hey. intend to make you're it a bigger deal, but you're on a live I mean, stream, like, thousands of viewers talking about He's sex talking trafficking. about before. Oh, like, when oh. he first yeah. said it. Right. Like now, right. that he, now that the clip blew up, and he's being questioned, he's not going to back... That's his take. Okay. He's I'm like sorry, Phil I Collins, bro. He he won't back down. He'll stand Phil his Collins. ground. That was not Phil Collins. He won't he won't hide like him, you know. That was <laughs> he, Tom. That was Tom. Oh, Tom Petty. Petty. Fuck. He he. he you moron. Up, so I'm a moron. Or I, I was I was gonna say the cow from fucking um barnyard. barnyard. <laughs> <laughs> the cow from barnyard sang yeah, that I song. Know. That's not that's Kevin James, not Phil Collins. Yeah. You don't want me to. I'll tell my editor not to. No, I'm just kidding. I don't care. I don't care. Sorry, no, okay, no, that's fine. Like, you know, if anyone's ever on my stream and they're like, oh, no, I don't want this bit on, on the internet, then that's fine. Oh, you have good reactions? That was good reactions. Jeez. Okay, okay. So, I guess I think what's happened here is it feels like. Well, so I wanted to ask, do you cover stuff where, like, an older guy is taking someone, sex to someone that's like, or sex to someone that's, you know, 16, 17, like a younger girl? You must have covered stuff for that, right? Yeah, typically I do. And what's the normal reaction you see online from that sort of thing? Like, it's like, gross. Like, what? Ew, like, whatever, you know? Yeah, exactly. Oh. So, I, yeah, I think that it's almost like you don't. But then you cover that and you see that reaction, but you're putting something out there which could instigate that reaction without evidence, and it seems like you don't realize you're doing it. It's like you don't see there's anything wrong with it. Well, not there's anything wrong with it, but like you, you kind of like, like what that happens all the time. But then not everyone sees it that way, and so you're putting that out there in that way that could be viewed that way. Um, I like I, I will say this like this is a unique thing, and like um, when I when I do it, it's like a lot, a lot of stories I cover like don't like it's often hard to even get receipts. Like even if I if I was like a girl, right? Like right. she might not even have the Snapchats, right? Like she might not have this and that. So like a lot of people don't even have like even if I get a name, like what, what what's gonna happen? You know like. And she doesn't have the, the proper evidence. Like people are just gonna grow to, to hell and whatever. Even if I personally knew her or whatever, or even if he told me, like then it becomes he said, she said. It's just the court of public opinion. So. Sure. And, and I guess the problem there is like. Wait, he's saying that like Sear told him about this stuff too. So it it goes back to the like the scenario of like oh, if um someone tells you something but you don't have like the evidence, should you like uh release that right? Mm -hmm. It's a tough question. Yeah. Because it really seems like in, in your mind, obviously, you've got a very strong conception. This happened. But obviously, I've not seen anything, so I don't know either way. And that's going to be the same for a lot of people. So and, and Yeah, that's why I completely accept that people want to be critical. And I'm not trying to convince or whatever. Like, you know, okay. it, it's it's obviously like whether you agree it's a possibility or not. Like, it's, uh, you know, this this is like, this is me as, as like a former, like, best friend of his, you know. And, sure. um, you know, you could probably ask, like, I don't know if he's still friends with any of his old best friends. I don't know if he's friends with Stefan or, like, uh, other people just would never even involve themselves in this. Like, he, he hates confrontation. His, all his friends, like, I don't know. I don't know. It seems like ever since the beginning of his YouTube career, he just changed his friend circle. So I don't even know who he would be friends with anymore at this point. Like he's on O two K. Like what? That's a random. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, I, I you know obviously I've known him better than I, but I think Wait, somebody... that's a group that covered up sex crimes. What the fuck? I mean, what the fuck? Uh, allegedly, yes. I mean, I I probably decided to do that. <laughs> awesome. Sure. I mean, I don't know. listen. I, I, yeah. I mean, no, wait, wait, wait. I, I say allegedly because there's an ongoing investigation. I came to the conclusion based on the evidence that I saw that I'm fairly certain it happened that there was some sort of malfeasance committed on the part of Ms. Kiff. Um, in terms of getting Maya to go around there. I think there were conversations which we're never going to be privy to that she put some sort of pressure on Adriana Lee to put her story a certain way. Bro, Maya never got pushed back. Like, she wasn't in the fucking uh, secret call with, like, those fucking, like, yeah, Miskiff. Yeah, no, Maya didn't... She didn't, um... Did she even suffer, like... Like, she, like, she, like talked about it on stream. Like yeah, she talked about it on stream, but didn't, like, address anything. Miskiff got the majority of it. Yeah. But then even now... I think Maya needed to be more questioned, like but it just kind of got, like, swept up, and no one cares anymore. Yeah, I mean, everyone just likes Ms. Kiff again. Like, Pokimane's, like, hanging out. Jesus. 
No one really cared. But at like the end covered of the up day. sex crimes sounds so extreme. I think I'm just I try and be very cautious in the way that I speak about stuff, right? And, and the way I word things when I talk about this kind of stuff. Whereas you don't seem to share that caution. And you know what? Fair play. Okay, I'm just a very cautious person talking about this stuff. Can I make a buggy video? Augie said no. Why? Um. <laughs> you want to make the buggy video on the fucking like, uh, the girl that like was allegedly like 18 or some shit. Like I saw on like Brantley's Twitter. Like, hold on, let Do me. It, dude. Ho ho yeah, Dumpy, you follow your dreams, dude. Don't let dude, Augie. Don't listen to, don't listen to Superman. Yeah, Augie, don't dude. listen to that fucking dumbass Superman Augie. Okay. <laughs> Nicholas Fatass, Dioria, and fucking Superman Og, you're trying to hold. Don't let them. Yeah. Hold on one second. Uh. Gotta find Brantley Ke uh, Keem's Twitter. Am I blocked by Brantley? I don't even know. I'll be right back. I'm just clipping the the call in. Oh, Dumpy's in chat. Dumpy call. Yeah, in. yeah. Don't forget about Sonic Josh. Yeah, well, Salvo made follow. Salvo made Sonic Joss, so you can't. Yeah, really you don't get you don't get to uh you don't get to take credit for that one. You you know you kind of rode on a uh, Salvo's coattails a little bit. Uh, you told us that she was an eighteen-year-old version, me, Keem, and behind the camera. And then, what's wrong with that, dude? They're both legal adults, like what Smaggle would say. He took Augie's advice. Remember when Augie told Keem? <laughs> to go lower. <laughs> like, I think what, it's 17 He was like, yeah, it's so like, was like 17 like, New York. He's like, year old. yeah, Keem, go for a 17. <laughs> <laughs> go as low as you can. Dude. Uh, someone, Big Dad Giga Chat said, 18 when he met her or now, after they went trauma together and he moved her in, question mark. He said he known her for a year or two, and then wait. So she, did he groom? Then she has like the zipper. Like, Someone needs over the doctor, the... so we know. Yeah. I like how Brantley is the one to expose when she's like the young Keemstar girl, like according to like the H three fan base. I think right? Keem drew the line at twenty, right? Because twenty isn't a real adult. True. I don't know. I'm 21, so I'm like prime Keemstar material. True. Yeah. You, sh you could go for him. Yeah. Wait, she's 20? 20? Wait, no, she's not 20. No, I'm talking about the girl. Yeah, like, she said she oh, was 20. Oh, wait, I understand what's going on yeah. now. Wait, what the f my mon My one and only tweet about my age. She's an adult, she's 20, I am older. But look at me, man. I'm a fat, ugly, <laughs> ugly-ass sin. When an adult woman I get along with with wants to give it a shot, I'm going to do the smart thing and give it a shot. Wait. If you can't handle that, tell your therapist and then post it, this fucking shit. Hold on. Wait a minute. So, I Brantley's not a great primary source. Yeah. But um, that's pretty crazy. It's true. <laughs> well, apparently she told. Well, he told. Uh, her Keem and behind kid behind the camera, known for uh, being the cameraman for Angry Grandpa. I just wait. Has he responded to Brantley at all? Um, hold on. Let me I'm see. Looking. Live I'm research. I'm not seeing anything. Welcome back to DJ Gets Real. That bitch looks twelve. <laughs> wait, who? Who are we looking at? What? Else? Um. What? I just came back and hear DJ reading a comment saying the bitch looks 12. What's going on? Yeah, DJ's on Tinder right now. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Uh, like we're talking about Boogie2988's oh, Boogie. girlfriend. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Dude, he's got that fucking... Um... She looks like she just came out of, like... Wait, Dumpies Augie... Dumpies and Collins. Dumpies and Collins? Yo, Dumpy, what's up? What's up, Mr. E? Yeah, I think that they met when she was 17, bro, because he claims, like, in the video, oh, yeah, moving in with my girlfriend of one year, and he says they met in October 2022. Obviously, we don't know what her birthday is, but, like, if she's we need to get her now, birthday. if she's yeah. 18 now, like, you know, how old was she when they met? If she was 18 when they met, she must have been, like, fucking freshly 18. Which I don't believe, what? by the way, because like, what are the chances you meet a fresh eighteen-year-old that wants to fuck? Like, yeah, like you know? straight, straight out of the fucking school bus. 
Exactly. Great I mean, yeah. Boogie two nine eight eight man. He can pull. But, yeah, but why no, did why a... did Brantley do like a cover up face for that? Like hold on. Like I don't know. She probably knows more than I do. I just know what's like out, you know. But how sweet she, she, fresh meat. So either Boogie was joking when he said she was eighteen, or Brantley is lying. Two jokes about Boogie that shit, was though. or 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 she's really eighteen. Dude, she's fucking 18, bro. No, actually, no, 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 no. What if, okay, here's another uh, scenario, right? Hmm. Boogie was lying to them in person. Right. About her being 18. The whole time she's like 17. Because it's like, again, what are the chances you what? meet a fucking 18 year old, bro? Come on now, dude. Like. I love how we're speculating on if he's a fucking pedophile or not. <laughs> well, Brantley's giving conflicting info. Yeah. And that's dude, it's pretty important. I want to make a video on this, and Augie said I cannot make a video on this, and I'm like, why? why? Like, what why? The All I was going to do was just react to his video he posted. Uh, he made a whole video what? with her. Like, she's, like, not, like, on camera, but she's in the thumbnail, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it would have been a funny video. It's so weird. There's a part in the video where he's like... Are you gonna go on the water slide? Are you gonna play in the pool? Bro, you like, need it's to make so a video. Weird, dude. It Why like are you video. needing Augie's permission? Like he's your fucking daddy. He's Superman oh, Augie. No, 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 no. I'm just, I, I, I'm he's gonna, Superman I'm gonna Augie. probably make the video. Bro. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to call him and like, at, like I've been hitting him up and like, yo, why can't he's not responding? Dude. He's like, scared he's, of Augie or dude. She does have wanna, a tattoo. I want to know why I can't make the video. She has to be, unless it's a legal make tattoo. The fucking video. She has a tattoo. She, she has to be 18 now. But like, or her parents could have given consent when she right. was 13. True. <laughs> oh yeah, apparently they met in uh, Instagram DMs or something like that, and they like so the lowest like, possible age right now. I think is what 13. he said is that they. I think he said they like trauma bonded <laughs> or something lowest. like that. Like, trauma, yeah. Made a man <laughs> is. Trauma bonded. Yeah. We yeah. need her docs, dude. We need someone to dox her so we know all the. Information. All right, I'm on it. Get yeah, angry slug on this, dude. He can really <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that shit. He's gonna like... <laughs> dude, I hear if you say his name three times, he just adoxes you. So... Angry slug. Uh, yeah, I said it in the mirror last night and then my address showed up. Wait, hold on. Dumpy. Check this out. Uh, someone said, so why are they saying she was 18? Who's lying? Clearly they are, question mark. I've legit seen her ID card, so she... So... I know what? it ain't her. What Who's does that mean? ID card? Wait, what? Hold on. Let me link it. Wait, screen share, please. Wait, wait, Why aren't wait, you wait, screen sharing? Hold up. Who saw the ID card? That's fucking weird. How's seeing the ID card weird? I mean, like, who... Why is somebody else seeing her actual ID it's online? It's Boogie. No, it's Boogie. Saw oh, the Boogie ID card. said that. Okay, <laughs> dude, okay. He's just, you've never ID'd a girl before? You, Col dude, Colton, you definitely got some allegations brewing. Dude, I, I mean, just don't understand, like, what the fuck is the point of, like, joking about her being 18, though, you know? It's I mean, hey, it's probably me. kind of funny, right? Like, I got him fresh off the press, you know? <laughs> like, yes. in a crusty way. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna call. Right. I gotta, I gotta, I'm about to get the real answers. I have to go. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude, know. get the real answers. See ya, daddy. Uh, DJ, look in DMs. I just sent you a, a better one. What do you mean? Well, I just sent you an image. Oh, thank thanks for that. Anytime. <laughs> I'm so confused now, dude. Lucas just said his smile's terrifying. I mean, you're dude, right. Dude, I keep th you can't say Lucas anymore. Why not? Okay. Oh, the, the name is like Kara. Yeah, because of Keffles. That's what I was thinking. So why not come to a compromise between the dead namers and the live namers and just say Klukas? No. Alright. Well, I tried. I'm man of the people. I'm a cis man of the people. Bro. Do you wow. want to get completely off topic? No. Add Fuck one. It. Yes, you do. <laughs> Alright, no, Edwin. You do, you do, you do. Edwin. <laughs> it's related to Echo of Tragedy. Edwin. What, what what's up okay fine yeah, now we're just... let's derail let's fuck it fuck the stream let's okay. derail what me, are you doing uh, here we go look in the general okay. okay hold on oh i remember this yeah that's what i was thinking of someone said he's an actual pedophile though which is like what that what was he that do? was angry slug oh okay <laughs> okay <laughs> everyone calls him pedo of tragedy which I started, by the way. 
<laughs> you started the rumor. <laughs> hey, sweet. Wait, wait, wait. By the way, I actually sent. I read that voice message to Chloe in DMs. Like, I sent her that exact. Those exact words as a voice message from me, like, the day uh, I did that. So that's in her. And she never responded. <laughs> hold on. Let me. Let me play it. Hold let on. Let me pull this up on stream. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I'm, I apologize to Echo Tragedy if they're still in chat. I'm just reporting the news. I don't. <laughs> I've seen that person's cock. Oh, uh, that's crusty. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, Let me pull up DMs with Chloe. Hold on. This is what I sent her. Stop playing, man. What are you doing? Why don't you have that person blocked? She's a psychopath. No, she's not. You're fucking dumb. She she's sucks, not a witch. Dude. She's not a witch. She needs that to be was... fucking lynch. I Jesus. Okay. <laughs> okay. Jeez, <laughs> jeez, stop, stop, stop with the it. racism. She, she okay, he said racism. lynched. He said lynched. <laughs> um, dude, if you tried burning her, she wouldn't burn. If you tried drowning her, she wouldn't drown. She's okay, like. He, well, there's only one way to find evil. out if you burn Alex. I she's need to fucking burn the evil. Reaper. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Edwin. No, 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 no. Let's no, no, no. let's oh, uh, no. pedo tragedy. Yeah, let's talk about yeah, echo yeah. tragedy. I, I assume this is to uh, mouse. Yeah, Chloe. Screen share. I'll read it. Okay. Uh, Papa's a voice actor. Uh, I need to animate some. Fuck. Didn't okay. get game started. All right. Uh. What do we got here? Go ahead, read it. Really just- Yeah, see, this is literally exactly the voice messages that I sent her. Hey, sweetheart, I know it's a lot right now, but you're better off cooling down and not trying to engage with people. I know it sucks, but it's for your best. Hope you're able to sleep, tee hee And then a day after, hope you're feeling better, Gordon. Yeah, no, look at the timestamps. He tried at least three separate times. Yeah, 9.05 p.m. Basically 11 p.m. And then I assume that's 12 a.m. That looks like 12. Yeah. yeah. It so fucking three times noon. he tried. No, but it seems like. Oh no, that's what midnight. The, what, what's the date on these screenshots? Because he might have. I think he he was too late. If he had tried like a day earlier, he would have gotten in. But and he did. That's so funny because he only. That means that he only knew like. After he heard that she was sexting everyone, he, then he yeah, he only shot. found out when it was too late. That's so <laughs> funny. By the way, I messaged I messaged Chloe during while this was happening, and I put a stop to it. All right. So if she anyone sucks. wants to say I'm a Block sex her. pest, if Block anyone wants to say I'm a sex pest, you're wrong. You're wrong. I had an easy chance, and I chose to solve the <laughs> relationship. You need the blockers. Fuck you. She's she's a friend now. I guess. No, she's not a friend. No, she's, she's just a, a friend. You, you yeah, didn't. You, you got what I need. Colton, we we need to interrogate you right now. You didn't try to like pupper, puppet master her puppet and master. like yeah Fuck. like uh well no pull I the strings. Messaged, no, I literally just messaged her like, do you want to talk about stuff that's like like it's sort of like what Echo Tragedy sent her, but not the sex pest vibe like i literally i genuinely like wanted to talk to her because she was like having a meltdown i, I think we have an That's epidemic hold on i i think we have an epidemic because like this this re, re uh this like aligns with like the edwin shit right you get like conversations with this whoa, whoa, chloe whoa, whoa. person and then you're talking to babs like i think this is a real issue that people no, just no 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 babs i've blood... never dated i never dated well, babs not either. not well, dating not dated chloe? not dated not dated but i'm just saying like you there you specified you they... didn't no i never babs. got sexual with babs i never got sexual with babs right about chloe i'm not saying no, you no, did no, 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 no. but like they're just talking to I'm you like you're you fucking sex with chloe. <laughs> <laughs> i'm a, hey i'm a shoulder to cry on the shoulder Oh, no, no, I never. You know what? It's. I'll tell you guys some after the stream about Babs. But no, I never did anything sexual. I, I believe you, but like what I'm saying yeah. is like they they like they go to you. Like you're the shoulder no, the cry she goes on. to them. Well, yeah, I go to them to make sure they're okay. Okay. And, uh, they, the reason I do that is because I know they need someone to talk to, and that's why they talk to me. <laughs> because I'm like, okay, are you like upset? Like we can talk. It's not a sexual thing. 
Yeah, I love. I, I believe you, I believe you, Colton. But I'm just saying, like, it, it's weird how like you're like you're the, you're the one. You're the one that's there, right? I'm him. You're him. Yeah. I didn't. I did not have sexual relations with Babs. So you're just like you're trying to be like the, like the friendly echo. person. Echo, echo, echo. I, that's why people could, have called me. What? Echo, don't even try. Why did Echo say that? I didn't even try. I didn't even try sexting with her. What the fuck? Don't the fuck? even try, my man. Three times. You tried opening up a con three times. I know what your intentions were. <laughs> you slimy, pathetic weasel. Okay? This is wow, reason, Alex. You're reading into his messages? You but... are not Colton, okay? I know what I did. From what, when you see another guy's cock, you really <laughs> understand his entire You can read his mind. You can, yeah, you can, can. We have a... I have a kind of bond. I have a trauma bond with him. You you can and tell all his mental his, disorders by the different yeah. bends and veins. I under I understand this guy, <laughs> and I know what he was doing. <laughs> Don't even try with me. Uh oh, uh oh, I'm getting messaged. Uh oh, what? <laughs> oh, am I am I in trouble? You sexed with Chloe. So, uh, yeah. I didn't. Le oh, shut the fuck up! I, I, I don't know if I leaked something. <laughs> oh no 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 no! <laughs> Alex, you asshole! I, I looked what? at your t your tweet. Cause he did. He admitted it basically. Yeah, you, good one. You he specified he didn't do anything with Babs, and would not say anything. What about did you tweet? Wait. What did you tweet? Hold on. <laughs> Colton just admitted he sexed That did not happen! <laughs> that did not happen! Delete that fucking tweet! Del that you did not happen! You, you admitted it. You mean- I- I read Echo of Tragedy's fucking messages to her as a joke, you- you prick. No, no, no! Oh wait, yeah, that's the message. Spondyle just <laughs> linked me your tweet. He saw it and he just met Colton and all caps and DMs. No, like, no, 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 no. When DJ brought up Babs and Chloe together, you specified I didn't do anything with Babs. I did not do anything with Babs. No, no, Babs I didn't do anything did with said. Chloe either. That was because well, now, Babs now you're backtracking. Now you're no, backtracking. No, I did. When did I say I did anything sexual with Chloe? Okay, Chloe the, 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 say Chloe would have exposed me. Stop! All right, I'm the moderator. I'm the moderator. Okay, so oh, yeah. yeah, when I brought up like the Babs and Mouse thing, right, uh, or Chloe, uh, you specified like one thing, not the other. So, like, um, Alex is saying, like, you admitted it by, like, a mission, right? Okay, let me be clear. I did not have sexual relations with either of those Show your women, DMs. Pull including Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Stream yeah, your DMs mental right illnesses. Now. I want to see right now. Stream your DMs. If Fuck there's you. nothing to hide. Okay, no, dude, because, he's, because there's he's covering stuff. it up. Oh, spawn outside. No, I'm fucking... Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, I, I was... No, she has, like, a... Talked about a ton of personal stuff, so I'm not gonna leak that. <laughs> Alright, then I'm leaking it. You're right. Good luck. <laughs> Fuck. You're just as bad as fucking, uh, Edwin. You're- you're Edwin. You're, you're fucking- You're literally Nick and DMs. What the fuck? She deserves it, dude. Alright. What- Echo, why are you like, hope you're feeling better, gorgeous? But what do you mean that's not, like, trying to flirt with her? Like- I like, had, had enough of this conversation. Was... Hold on, I- I just Wait, wanna grow him. I wanna awesome. grow him. <laughs> girl stream, girl stream. Can Echo yeah. call in? Uh, yeah, Echo, call in. We want you in here. How do I call in at Drama Alert? Echo, I- at AugRC. Edwin, um, or not Edwin. Echo, Edwin of Tragedy. Echo, um, Edwin's Tragedies. Um, call, call in, Echo. We, we want to talk to you. I want to get to the bottom of your fucking, uh, Harvey Weinstein-ness. Dre just slid in. Are you Dre? Who the fuck is this? Who's Dre? Who invited Dr Who's this? The rapper? I guess. Dumbass. What? Oh, yeah, that's dumbass. Are they in the call or something? No. Oh, wait. Echo's they... getting in. Oh, my. Echo, come on. Okay, give me a sec. I'll hop on a, in a bit. Hurry the fuck You guys up. fucking hijacked my live stream. I was gonna fucking... No, Echo did. He hijacked Chloe's pussy. Dion's I'm sorry, DJ. I, I, I hate that I fucking... I, 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 I tried I try to rope it in by talking about like the Chloe and like Babs <laughs> and like how like Colton talked to them like privately right and then now we're on fucking interrogation stream with Echo of Tragedy if you try to riz up I need to talk fucking to him. Get him the in. Chloe 
Uh, the witch. The yeah. only victim I talked to was Mina, but that has nothing to... Wait, what the fuck? Why Chloe just messaged... What's going on? Sorry, haven't checked Discord. Oh, so she just opened my mess. Great, great timing. This is great. Fuck. Did Spawn Dial tell her? It's over. Alex spread the misinformation. It's over. It's not misinfo. <laughs> Alex is a reaper. He admitted he it by omission. I do. You're so stupid. I deny I'm not, that's I, 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 do, I do admit, it was a pretty weird look, but, like, I'm not gonna fucking... I wasn't think. Well, I wasn't thinking of it like that. You were so adamant I, about not doing anything with Babs. Like, you were because, so passionate. Because you brought that up, and I... Well, I, I brought it... No, brought I, 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 I brought him up, like, together to, like, make a point as that, a pair, like... a duo. Yeah. So now I'm saying, I'm, I'm being clear as I can. Neither of them. Not Chloe. I did not be sexual. Okay. Well, yeah, but now you're backtracked. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, you're such an asshole. <laughs> you're so fucking retarded. <laughs> I don't... Uh, it's just... It's weird, dude. I don't know. I don't want to have to do... Chloe but. just said she's gonna pretend she didn't see what I sent her. Your cock? Oh <laughs> my up. god. It was, the messages. it was me reading Echo's messages. You know what, I guess I did sext her because I, I read the Echo messages. So you know what, Alex W. <laughs> and I do it again! I think it is. This is ridiculous. I apologize to the DJ Gets Real audience of this uh, terrible display I've presented. I'm sorry, Lucas. I think that Where was the best. Echo? I think that was the most optically correct thing I've done was talk to a, a seventeen-year-old about if they uh. If they What's liked. What's the age of consent in your state, DJ? Uh, I'm in I'm in Rhode Island, so uh. Rhode. Let me look that up. Yeah. Yeah, you look it up Rhode since. Rhode Island. E Ooh, what is this? Consent. The weekend How are you even spelled? It's 16. Okay, and she's in Europe, right? Where is she at? <laughs> British? Yeah, she's British. So, uh, England is 16, so you're fine. You're <sighs> right, she's fine. We can sex- No, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna- you're good. No, no, we're not. The weekend, the weekend now holds- What did Spondyle just tweet? Hold on. What do you link me? Never mind. Oh my god! Wait, that was oh my god! Now that uh, people are gonna think this is serious, so is. I, I you, forgot you that I sent it. literally admitted it. I oh my Chloe. god! No, I messaged Chloe, send me nudes, but I'm just joking. But I'm also drunk and lonely. Haha, <laughs> Jk. Unless, sorry, I was just pranking Spondyle. Lol. Hashtag Tipster News. And that I was mocking Tomato Man. Fuck. Wait, I'm putting it's that so under my Colton tweet. Bros. It's so over Colton Bros. Someone said I, I put that under my tweet. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Send me nudes, but I'm just joking. <laughs> Can we get a Colton W in chat for a second? Why did you want to make sure Clancy was okay? Oh yeah, I don't know why that why the fuck that got leaked. Cause cause Clancy said they were suicide. Oh that was a serious thing. They're like in perpetual a... suicide. You know, I'm gonna use the dreaded word. I'm gonna use it. Are you gonna I'm use gonna the use, B word? I'm gonna use the B word. Oh yes, I'm about to use it. They're a baiter, dude. Ah <laughs> oh, fuck! This is my 9/11. DJ, you should make a video on that word. Baiter, and how you everyone make like 30 threads about it. Yeah, because everyone's <laughs> retarded when they talk about it. Cause like, I think it's just a made-up like term. Commentary people well, use. It used to mean something. Yeah. But we twisted it into something it's not supposed to mean. It used to mean, like, it used to mean you're trying to get someone else to commit suicide. Right, yeah. But that, I think it was Doc on the radio who misused it, and it just stuck around. No, it wasn't now him it's... first. It was, uh, it was fucking, um, well, first was Connie and, and Zell. They, they started it. Well, it, it, it's so, started. like, uh, in, like, like, it's like a fucking in commentary, like, term like i don't think any other space uses it like the same way all right echo of tragedy you're good we can't we can't grill you because i just got grilled you're fine i just got exposed for legitimately like if i had a way to work if i had to describe someone as like a suicide baiter to like an average person like they'll probably look at me like i'm a fucking weirdo like i i i, yeah, I don't that's everything in this community yeah but like that in particular just like it, I don't know. 
I, 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 show, I, them, I show them the screenshot of your stream where DJ gets real. This is <laughs> this will get you arrested if you want. Yeah, like the fucking uh, the cat asshole in the bottom right. Yeah, that's uh too much. Too much, yeah. Dude, I ruined the stream. It's over. It's over. Yeah, like you know the great. Uh, add one conversation like this is gonna look like um i'm like running cover for edwin again i, I don't know what else to say about edwin where's his vision uh like, I feel like he, oh wait echo try to just join okay let me i'll give you the slave role echo you can join collins <laughs> yeah everyone <laughs> i trust is a slave wait <laughs> Wait, DJ, when did you stop being Bugs Bunny and become Marvin the Martian? When did that happen? Uh, when everyone called me a furry. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. It was bad. He used to have a cool photo of the Martian. But he oh, you, you, you don't like the one. you don't like the zip zap art? No, 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 the zip zap one is better. I'm well, talking about the one before this the zip zap one. Yeah, th this one is the zip zap one I have. I know, no, no, I'm talking about uh, before the zip zap one. Where it was like the blurry one with the mm. purple background. I remember that. Oh, the one like I have, like if you look on stream, this one. Wait, let me check. Hold on. Um, I wanna. Oh fuck! What was I gonna say? What happens when the aliens get revealed? Yeah, that one. That one sucks. Yeah, the one. W I mean, I like it. I don't care. What happens when the aliens get revealed at the end of this month from Congress, and then you're, like, accused of being the alien equivalent of a furry for being more of an emotion? It's over. It's over. This is done. My career's done. Is Pedo getting in here, dude? <laughs> I'm getting impatient. Why is it- It's already getting spread around the fucking Colton DMs. <laughs> like, it's a real thing? Yeah, it's Colton actually DMs. real. Actually like he, real. He actually tried. No, you're so fucking stupid to think that's serious, if you're being serious. You wanted it. Yeah, totally, yeah. That's obviously, like, for real. I- I, I hate that spawn I was being like, Colton has mommy issues, like, what the fuck is- why? Uh... Is oh, it- Oh, Mouse- Mouse leaked the tweet. she did it! Hold on, Mouse leaked- hold on, let me link it, let me link it. I'm gonna link it, hold on. I'll look in the- I have her. Oh, Pedo Tragedy! Get him in here! Alright. Yeah, we can listen to these- together make okay. pedo tragedy listen no to i don't care videos. about mouse okay i want to listen to pedo no this is my dms that she just leaked i know i already heard them. get pedo yeah wait wait we, yeah we already heard those though yeah they're not funny all right let, let's let's get echo and tragedy of tragedy since you like sandbagged my stream about this <laughs> hello echo of tragedy what's up echo can you hear us hello Hello. What's Hello. up? What's up? All right. Echo, I got no I'm issue. Denying the truth. All right. Go ahead. Ask me whatever you guys want to ask. I... Why are you denying the truth? All right. Because it's not the truth. What were you? What were your intentions? Uh, to get her to stop spraying with Matt Pitt, because she was going like on fucking full like spark thread with him. If she had given her your snap, her snap. If she had given you her Snapchat, and then said she'll give you photos, would you have accepted? I probably wouldn't even have gotten her snap, to be honest, because I was just not that's answering that's the question. An answer. That's not an answer. What a non-answer. Well, no, I wouldn't have taken her snap to begin with. No. You wouldn't have. Oh, okay. No. You're lying. <laughs> that's the truth. Echo, hold on. Let me You're read these. You're a liar. Hold on, Edwin or Echo. You said this. Wait, Nick just put out a mega document. Nick? About what? Technicals. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> what is this fucking live Read stream? This. Read it. I have. You know, <laughs> okay, you're, you're, you're old news, Peter. Wait, can I edit it? <laughs> you're old news, uh, Echo Tragedy, I have no <laughs> issues with you. I don't know what the fuck they're on about. but. No, that, yeah, I don't have anything against you either. I understand. Um, Echo, all I can, cool. all I I can like say. You. All I can say is. 
You're this isn't the first time I've hopped into a girl's DM that's going at my pit. And that's really all I can say. If I was trying to do something, I would have already admitted it by now. Look, I have I no, I have no qualms with admitting anything like that. No, you're a liar. That's the fucking truth. That, you know who said that's that? You know who said that almost truth. verbatim? Tomato man. Tomato man. <laughs> <laughs> tomato man. Fuck tomato man. man. All right, I, I've said it. I was being charitable to the tomato man. Fuck tomato man. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck. Fuck tomato man. Okay. DJ, DJ, you need to quote. DJ, quote Nick's tweet real quick. Quote Nick's tweet. Say you're on stream reading it. That'll get more. No, I don't care. I don't like. We need to read the fucking document. I'm gonna quote tweet it then. Quote it and link the stream. Say we're gonna read. I'll read it from his perspective. Uh, Echo, Reading I think you're cool. Uh, I just think it, that those DMs are funny and cringe. But regardless, oh, yeah, they just leaked uh, the version of me saying them to DJ, read it. Chloe. So Colton, this is old news. The, okay, okay, fine. Uh, yeah, well, thank you, Echo. Uh, this is wonderful. Thank you, Pedo of Tragedy. <laughs> All right, no problem. <laughs> Bye. Have a good day. All right. Uh, um, who wants to read it? I don't want to fucking... I do. You have to read fucking... it. No, no I'll read Colton. it. I want to. I'm the voice. Why? I'm the filmmaker, you fucking prick. Come on. Let daddy oh have my God. All right. Okay. Twit Longer is down, so I... Let's make a document anyway. Hold on. I need to go full screen, because this is... Dude, You're my mouse... It up. Yeah, I know. My mouse is like Michael J. Fox syndrome. It's fucking shaking. All right. Uh, Twit Longer is down, so I... Getting close to my fucking mod. Let me. Retard! You haven't even read one. Twit longer is down, so I am attaching this as a document. I don't very much like to have to reach. Someone tweeted. I don't very much like to have to retread my four-year-old video, so people can smear my friend as some kind of pedophile because they are mad at me. This has become a new trend for the last few months, so I am giving my final thoughts publicly as a response to a year and a half of bullshit. Screenshot this. Archive it. Print it out and hang it on your wall. Spit on it. My stance on technicals. In regards to technicals and his double standards video, which was designed as a total and complete no you to deflect from a degenerate content. Dude, he's fucking smoking him. Let's fucking go. I've been waiting for a year and a half. For Just this read day. it. Don't put commentary. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Pop was excited. Uh, I think his criticisms of me were poor. Many of them were nitpicks and nothing seemed pressing enough to respond to. In fact, technicals has publicly stated that he agrees with my position that Zaptai is not a pedophile. Given the way that he tries, tries to paint me as someone who ruined or tremendously fucked up this investigation, one would assume we disagree. Augie and I, that was a weird spacing, Augie and I rarely got any questions or requests for clarification on anything technicals claimed because quite frankly, the video appealed to people who either didn't know us or hated us and really only got viewed by that demographic. The Unseen did a video dissecting the entire drama and also came to similar conclusions I did. Even content creators who broke this down unbiasedly came to the same conclusion I did. Nick is always right. Nitch. Uh, technicals claims we have been running from him. Despite us agreeing to a truce he enthusiastically signed last year. <laughs> this is the fucking Treaty of Versailles. Um, technicals claims we have... Oh, I read that. Sorry. A Colton moment. Um, techn oh, wait, no. Technicals claims no, we have been running from him. Oh, that's weird. Technicals claims we have been running from him, despite never responding to Tommy C. Ooh. Uh, or Edwin. Uh, Technicals claims we have been running from him, and I don't believe he's ever properly responded to Augie's manifesto stream where he spent one hour breaking down everything. Technicals made a really based video. Biased. Biased video. <laughs> Video. You're fucking shit at this, dude. Oh, fucking kill yourself. You wouldn't do better. <laughs> um, disguised as an investigation to close the case on a deplorable person who's tried to sue a 14-year-old into submission after fully confessing to her allegation. He will never stick to this and defend it. He will always pivot. He knows he's wrong. Congrats on getting Nairo banned, though. Call it one for two. Yo! This is like the fuck... I, my, and what's happening in my heart and brain is like the whole fucking theater when uh, fucking Avengers showed up in the portals. This is um, so soy. <laughs> <laughs> my stare, I'm literally going, oh, like I need to take oh a picture. God, oh right, my god! Oh, he's talking. fucking killing Zaptai! We'll talk, we'll talk Zaptai. after. Alright, my stance on Zaptai. I'll be the first to tell you the video isn't perfect. It's four years old. I've issued clarifications, and despite its imperfections, I'm happy with it. I have found the vi that the videos, uh, as a series, more or less, stand up to the test of time. There are certainly arguments in the video I wouldn't make if I was approaching the story in 2023. That same unseen person made some pretty solid critiques of some stupid legal arguments I made, for example. Basically, while I admit the video itself is flawed, I almost said fraud, 
uh, I do find it more or less stands up to the test of time alongside its subsequent entries and documented clarifications. It's literally the MCU of YouTube. If you don't like my video, watch Tom's. If you don't like Tom's, watch Unseen. If you don't like Unseen, watch Tommy or Augie or anyone else who discusses this stuff. I am not the only one to come to these conclusions nor am I the most viewed person to come to these conclusions. I was, however, the first, and I do not apologize for the one genu genuinely good thing I've done with my platform. People who criticize me will often attack me using outrageous comparisons to entirely different allegations of a sexual nature that exist in wildly different contexts, like high school. Victims are not interchangeable, and neither are their stories. <laughs> oh, dude, this is fucking cold. Um, I am never creating a tier list of allegations <laughs> to platform retarded debate. Alongside that, Tom wrote an, uh, an on bird birded, wrote an entire script last year with redundancies included for a separate project that never ended up releasing. It was designed to clarify this case thoroughly with all the new information we have gathered over the years and corrections. He should probably just publish that research at this point. Sorry, yawn. Uh, because it's often a coward's first Nick Diorio video. QED. What does that mean? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. That was a fucking like, he That's he crazy. just like slapped his cock on the table and said, "I'm the biggest." That was insane. Uh, I liked the part where he shouted out on scene. That's the base video. Yeah, base. Dude. Which I is great. You I, know, I don't you... have a problem with anything you said. Obviously. What Latin abbreviation? Nick spoke Latin. Latin abbreviation for quod erit demonstrandum, which was to be demonstrated. QED may appear at the conclusion of the text to signify that the- uh, Shut up! Get your fucking dog muzzle, kill him. To signify that the author's arg overall argument has just been proven. Oh, okay. So it was like, he literally just said, bam, I'm the alpha. I'm interested in that video that apparently Tom has. Well, it, it, Nick said it's full redundancies, and apparently um, Unseen had the best one. So, and it's sort of, the truce is now the Twin Towers, nice. It's sort of like, um, how, like, Gamer from Mars is a fucking scumbag for not doing the French girl video after promising her, but... I'm pretty the, sure the redundancies is talking about, like, in their favor. Like, the video <laughs> would, like, like, it was, it was good research. Um, I don't know, I feel like because it got scrapped, so I feel like it would have gotten scrapped if it was, like... Well, it probably got it, scrapped. Because of the truth, right? Uh, he said... I don't know, maybe. But I feel like that wouldn't have anything to do with clearing Zaptai's name. Because the I truth... think, uh... That's true, but, um... I don't know, that, that, uh, paragraph... I don't I actually don't really know what he... Means. I'm yeah, interested in what that is. What's Blood Waffling about? What's Blood Yapping Yeah, about? I want to know what that is. Um, I don't know, right, I didn't yeah. really see the... Part 3 of the war coming this quickly but it has oh, they, apparently they've been arguing all day on twitter i literally can't see it because technicals has had me block for close to three years now and will not unblock it. deserves it's not deserved <laughs> and... you should have been like yeah. zip zap and asked for an unblock i did and he blocked <laughs> my ult nice oh well, i'm gonna see if nick will call him. wait did he unblock did he unblock fucking Zipzap? I don't know. I I I'm I just saying that because like she asked him like in that one stream like a year ago. Um, he was like, sure. I'll react to this cope post tomorrow on stream. One funny part I'll point out is this: technicals claims we have been running for, despite never responding to Tommy C. The fuck does Tommy C have to do with you? You refuse to go on streams with me to talk. Stop hiding behind your dad, pussy. Why did he ignore the Augie doc? <laughs> he ignored all- <laughs> he, he ignored everything. Yeah, he's- they've been tweeting all day, yeah. Well, I know that- dude, Technical's fucking- he fucked up. Like, there's no coming back from this. I mean... I think, uh, Tommy's prediction was pretty spot on. That, uh, Technical's kind of, like, solidified himself. As like a smash retard, instead of Technical. like a commentator. <laughs> like at, at the time, like two years ago, it seemed like everyone agreed with Tech, but I guess we were just arguing with the worst people possible. <laughs> we were just like we literally just found the wrong people because everyone else besides his audience agrees. Dude, you know, with technicals. Us. Hold on, technicals is obviously bad faith because he tweeted, 
uh, the you try to sleep uh, a guy who tried to sleep with a 16 year old when he was 20 um, who was actually 14 because that the 14 part is completely fucking relevant because he never knew that so even if you want to criticize the 16 20 age gap which I think is criticizable obviously it's not like to, to, to say well she was actually this age when he did not know that and he only found that out after he broke things off and threw up about it because he was catfished like you're you're blaming him for being catfished at that point like technicals just took a huge fuck he already fucking lost with that one tweet good job buddy that was terrible jesus fucking christ what a joke wait smaggle bodied him <laughs> wait smaggle what? bodied tech what do you do looking uh wait fuck wrong general Go to, uh... Fuck, where is it? There it is. I didn't even see the... Smaggle completely bodied him. <laughs> Would you guys want to host a debate between Nick and Tech here? No! <laughs> they, they won't call in. I, I... I would not want that. Why? I'd, 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 I'd fucking moderate it. I'd, you guys can sit back and moderate it. Um, yeah, DJ. Colton will do yeah, Col work. yeah, Colton can, can do the work. Dude, I moderated. I, I stopped. I stopped two mentally ill teenagers from sexing everyone in the community. All right, I'm I'm pretty good at this stuff now. Not before they did it, dude. Well, okay, okay, but they would have done it for a lot longer. Trust me, I talked to them after like a dozen guys. I okay, I and girls. Okay, Let's read go. read technicals' tweet first. All right. So scroll down into what Snaggles quoted. Okay. <laughs> Muted. Good one, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, you're desperately uh, floundering over the zero case to avoid me on Zaptai again. You actually look stupid. The tweet you're replying to already says it was a settlement, and yet here you're making stuff up to argue with yourself. Wait, fuck. You Why did Smaggle quote the wrong tweet? Damn it. You'll never oh. address how you fucked up Zaptai's case, and it's funny to me. That's not the... Dude, I thought Smaggle was smarter than this. Technicals put out a tweet where it was like, I think it's funny how these guys... About to talk to too mad, but they just memed with him instead of talking about the allegation. I thought that I was a tweet he was fucking uh, responding to. Anyway, this is a this would have bodied or fucking quoted the right tweet. Check yeah. just curious, how did you reach out to too mad about the allegations before or after you had gay sex with them? Yeah, if that would have been a banger, asked me on um, Discord, I'll. Uh, there, I, wait, did Nick agree? <laughs> I, I no, not yet. He was uh, typing dude, for it's like. it's not happening. He was typing for like five minutes and then just stopped. And so when I'm, I'm just gonna add technicals. If Tech adds me back, I'm just creating a group chat with us three and them. Oh yeah, here, dude. Why didn't Smaggle quote this? <sighs> oh, I just got. What did I get? Oh, that was you. <laughs> this would have been a far better tweet to quote. Bro, didn't Nick want to interview him? Well, but, but here's the thing. Tech said in that tweet that Smaggle quoted, like. Uh, Nick is avoiding zap tie by talking about um, uh, Zero. It's like Zero was the one being talked about and you are the one who pivoted it to zap tie and have been on that sense. Now Nick has responded to it and you called it a cope post. I don't like, fucking know. This is embarrassing know. on tech side. And by the way, I will be completely 100% fair to both sides if they debate. But I think we all have an idea of who's going to win. I can't believe DJ just got completely hijacked. I'm sorry, DJ. I'll yeah. never do this again to you. How'd he get hijacked? Wait, what happened? <laughs> this was a stream about Edwin. This, yeah, this was about the stream oh, oh. about Edwin <laughs> and then, like, me, like, investigating, I guess, if he did any wrongdoing. I mean, I, I guess we found, found out about, like, the fucking, the dress shit, right? Like, seriously dressing <laughs> the up. Dress shit. Someone, yeah. you know, Jaim is right that I, I might be too biased for Tomat, but here's the, I can still be very objective in this situation, because I'm, I'm very educated on both They're situations. They're not like, I would hand it to, retard. <laughs> I would hand it to, oh, we're talking about hypothetical, hypothetically, because uh, I would hand it to DJ or Alex, because they probably better as moderators, but I don't think, I don't know if they know enough about I'm it. the most biased person ever. I'm okay, so okay. far, I'm so biased. Okay, so uh, <laughs> the most unbiased person, I would say, in this scenario would be the Unseen, but even then, like, I don't know what how productive it, said his opinion yeah his i opinion don't know how productive broke. that would be yeah it would just be blood sports which would be funny <laughs> but i think that's better on like an app not a, yeah not a random stream not that, dj gets real yeah yeah why i was supposed to talk about edwin yeah well, now we're talking about um fucking technicals and nick and 
What am I getting DMs about now? Why did you troll? Oh my god, now everyone's talking to me about the fucking sex pest allegations that are refreshed. Thanks, Alex. Dude, That's we great. went from Edwin to Boogie to Chloe to yeah. like, Technicals. You see, you know what? When Dumpy came in, I didn't mind the derailment because he's a YouTuber, right? With thousands of subs. But I'm just, I'm just I'm taking the knee <laughs> from Alex and Colton about this shit, alright? I had enough. Uh, I guess I'll... Tr I gotta go soon, but um, I guess I'll yeah. salvage what I have with the, uh, <laughs> the Edwin story that we're halfway done. Hold on, I... I, th I might just make a hold on. Let me call Nick. Yeah, you call Nick. You can you can leave. I'll, hold on, stay. No, stay on the stream because I I'll add you guys if he wants to. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what is this? What, what what are we fucking doing? This is what happens when you add Colton. You know, I was so good. I was staying on topic, and then you added Colton, and he's a bad influence on me, dude. Yeah. I need a handle. Yeah. Like, Edwin. Okay. Yeah, like Edwin. I'm like Edwin. Yeah. I've been in the YouTube game for a long time. Like I, I've, I've, I've seen like YouTubers. Like it, it was, it was. Look, I hate to say, it, but what Siri was doing, he wasn't alone in what he was doing. You know, like back then, especially back then. I, I don't know. Hopefully, I would hope he doesn't do that shit anymore. But like, sure. people were doing that. People were taking advantage of their fucking followers and everything. Look, if anybody wants to take the challenge, see if, if he hasn't deleted his tweets from 2014, etc. Like he, they'll be there. Like, he's thirsting over everybody. Like that's, that's it. Like ask fucking. I don't know. Like, jeez. Okay. I mean, I mean, the other thing. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. From another angle. As a fellow content creator, I'm like, if you don't like. I don't know if anyone's took in the challenge to look into Seer. Like, so. I feel like it's kind of hard. Yeah. Might be deleted. Like, gotta go into the internet archive. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about 10 year old drama here. Yeah. <laughs> it's Names uh... and evidence of shit. You... I don't know how I'm gonna clip this. I, I guess I gotta be like, okay, this is the bullshit in the middle, and then you, you can. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the shit you can ignore. Yeah, you can skip right by. Exposing people. Would, would you not want to do that? It's my truth, Chad. <laughs> Where, where's that Twitch uh, Muse? Uh, the Twitch, is that her name? Mew? Or is it the girl? Is that the guy? That's the guy, Mew, the guy. Yeah, I covered that earlier. What was the girl's name? Oh, God, this is going to sound very misogynistic. But I can't remember. I'll get it for you right now. Oh, it's uh, Ash Astro, I think. Well, what was her evidence? Um, no, 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 it's fine. You can ask that. And I'll, I, I went over it. Um, no, I'm and, and I, agree, like, again, I agree. No, it's good to be critical. I completely okay, understand. Okay. But, but you agree that it's always best if you want to make a claim to have some evidence. Of course. To, okay. of course. You know, like, that was, that was a dumb drunk moment. I think someone in chat tried treating me. I don't remember. I don't even care to look back. Whatever. This is me owning up as best as I can, I guess. Someone in chat treating like, me. It is what it is. Okay, mate. <laughs> what was the other thing? Okay. Well, what would you do? If you drunkenly said something that you know is based in reality, would you be like, well, like, okay, I lied just because I don't want to get in trouble, girl, over it? No, that okay. No. no, listen. I see where you're coming from. I think you're really, you're based in this concept of I know it happened. Right, and I, I get where you're coming from. I think for me, I would look at it and think, right, I can either kind of just not comment on what I said or, or back away from it or say, okay, yeah, I was drunk. Alternatively, I would say, okay, I was drunk, but I was also correct. Bang, here's the dossier on like what I know about Sia and the fucked up shit he did a few years ago. Um, and that would obviously come with a lot of drama, but also content and money associated with it. So yeah, I don't know. It's like, you're in a tough position. Um, Making a couple of drama on it or money or whatever. Oh, I mean, but, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a tough one. I, 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 if you genuinely have got some evidence possible of this stuff, it's, some of it could be illegal. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the nature of it is and what exactly was going hey, on. You know what? You're fucking sue me, bro. Challenge me. Then I'll fucking seek it. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> they said if, <laughs> I mean, if he's not going <laughs> to... Sue me, Seer. All right, I, don't, I, don't, I don't fucking know. Uh, yeah. Wait, Colton wants to be ad back. I think his call with Nick failed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to add him back? <laughs> um, I don't fucking know. Hold on, let's let's add him back. Mission failed, I assume. We'll get him next time. Okay. <laughs> uh, I uh, yeah. Look, he's my dad. He just went. He's getting cigarettes. He'll be back. He'll call me. Okay. Sure. Come after uh, you for this. Uh, if I was okay, I, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Loving father, yeah. <laughs> but now, now we're back on Edwin, so let's not derail, okay? If I was a big content creator and you were here saying stuff about me that I knew that wasn't true, I would like come for you fucking hard. Like I would be like, what the fuck? And I would like, if it was like serious allegations like that, and I had the money to do it, then yeah, obviously I, you know, I come for you. But he's not doing it for some reason, and I presume he knows that you've oh, said and this. You know, you saw those like leaked Twitch payments. Alex like, killed himself. Motherfuckers loaded, right? All these, he's like top oh, one hundred. I don't know, like 
He's in the six digits or more in for like a year or something. I don't know. He's fucking. Now that in itself isn't proof of anything. Okay. I guess. No, I know I you just, just said it by the money. So I was saying, yeah, no, like, no sure, sure. Me. I just want to be clear. I'm not making any certain claims. I just, I guess it's a bit, you know, I'm just questioning why he isn't if there's something you're saying something of this nature. I mean, maybe he doesn't know you said it. I don't know. Does he know that you said this about him? Well, wait, who did the guy you kept saying reacted to it? Is he not DK or why did you name him? Oh, Canoe. Oh, um, Canoe. I just remember watching it. I think via Canoe watching it on live stream fails. Okay, and, right. can, hey, is that the buff guy? Yeah, the big buff guy. Yeah, the big guy. What was this about him? Are you please? I'm begging you. No, don't do it to me. <laughs> what are you the buff guys? No, I'm like you know, I'm amicable with him. Oh, <laughs> like, I'm just ready to get us that far. I'm gonna have to be like, oh the fuck. I'm asking if he's connected to see you. Like, does he know him? I think I think he's. I, I mean, he, I, well. He did this Canute camp thing, and that, you know, elevated him into the stratosphere of the, like, Twitch people, like, Twitch aristocracy types, and I think he's friendly with, like, the OTK people, right? Okay. All right, I don't care about fucking Canute. Can we get to Mina? Maybe it doesn't seem as big a deal because you're like, well, you know, YouTubers are at it all over the place. But in Twitch, this stuff is, like, yeah, still pretty hot and still pretty, not hot as in sexy, hot as in, like, you know, spicy, you know, pretty controversial. So, but, yeah. you know, that's pretty cool that you're friends with the buff guy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. We're still talking about Canute. <laughs> Or something as a clip. Oh, I love this. But I don't know how strictly that's enforced across the board. It seems to be when an OTK member's been accused of something, that's when that gets put into place. Yeah, sorry, they need to distract the there. Wants to call um, who? I'm kidding. I said Vladimir Zelensky, Zelensky, the Ukraine oh, president. Oh, the Ukraine president. <laughs> this has been great. I just, you know, I'm happy to put my shit to you here and, and say what I think. I just, I'm sitting here thinking you're saying this stuff and it seems like you're cool with it, so I, I can't really say much more than that. Maybe Mina wants to corroborate. Hey? Mina, Mina is. Okay, now he's getting his, uh, well, now X, but. I guess his girlfriend at the time, Mina, into the call. This is going to be interesting. Um, his ex-girlfriend. Let's see if she wants to be in the call. Who is also the ex-girlfriend of Seer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Listen, I've, I've still got time to hang around if you want to, you know, stir up more drama. Okay, yeah, okay. I've mean, yeah, got about, yeah, I personally have like 40 more minutes to have to go to my brother's for Thanksgiving dinner here. Okay. Thank you everybody for hanging out on Thanksgiving. Those of you who are not... Yeah, Mina, get on camera. It's a video thing. No, I'm not, I'm not coming on camera right now. Why does your audio always suck ass, Mina? Oh, uh, okay, okay, hold on. Do you have your AirPods on? You know? No, I don't. What happened to that microphone that was your laptop? All right, I sound good right now, right? Better. I hope okay. Mina's doing okay. Okay, so what the fuck I, is I'm going on water here? here because yeah, go ahead. Chuck. Okay, so listen, everyone's saying some shit about Sia. Okay, I'm saying it sounds pretty crazy, and there's some serious claims being made that probably it's worth getting some evidence for. And now you're here. That's where we are. Oh, uh, well, I just came in because I heard like, I just had like money being involved, and I was just like, why is money even being brought up? But I literally just had stuff and then everyone was like, come in, so I came in. So maybe I should- oh, Welcome to Chug Nation. What do you mean money involved? What's that? <laughs> What's that? I, I saw the chat and I was like, why is that even being brought up? But I'm not, I'm not caught up, to be honest. Um, okay, Mina, you remember that girl that, um, that, uh, Dasha tried to manipulate, even though, like, she Which was, like, asking for pictures and stuff? Remember when she was telling us that? To Chug Nation. Not, without saying her name, because, you know, there they was double a lot of people, so I don't know. Huh? I feel like there was a lot the of people. So I'm not sure who it the, is. the main one, like the one that like was sending us voice notes. Remember? Oh my god, you have such a memory. Oh yeah, I do. I got no idea what Edwin's talking about. <laughs> I guess I gotta look more into the Edwin Seer lore and their relationship. I guess like Iko has to put that together for me. No, but I can't say the name. Um, well, we should double check. You know, we don't speak for other people. Like, but yeah. Like, okay, I think, I think I know who you're talking about. Yes. What is the smoke and fucking cloak and dagger shit? What is going on? Okay. So I, I, I don't know. know. It's just for fun now, right? <laughs> I mean, sure. That's okay, now I look at. <laughs> yeah, listen, mate. I listen, saw my chat that you're fucking Giga Chad. But okay. Thank you. Okay. I guess the thing is so you had a relationship with Sia, right? Everyone has made some pretty serious claims that this Sia was engaging in some sort of sexual activity over messaging with 16 year olds, which could have crimes associated with it potentially, particularly if there were nudes being sent and, and so on, right? So. I think the reason you were brought on is I think Edwin felt you'd be able to substantiate some of this in some way. But it sounds like you've come on and, and maybe you can... He's talking about Dasha, I believe. Yeah, Matt Pitt. I'm not the, uh, I guess, like, um, the most knowledgeable. Because, like, Edwin also has, like, hours-long videos on, like, that whole situation. So, like, I guess I gotta do more research on that. Because, like, I, I skimmed through it recently. But, like, I don't know the ins and outs of it. Just speak on it. Sorry, I'm, Do you I'm have arguing any with, with someone in DMs right now about who thinks that Tech won. So I'm like, no, you fucking mongoloid. <laughs> We're like fighting in DMs right now as I'm on stream, so I'm, I'm multitasking. I got talent right now. Okay. Uh, I probably don't have evidence of like that, but I have my own personal experiences. Okay, well, let's, let's go with that. What's your personal experience and testimony about all this then? <laughs> If you want to speak, it's up to you. I don't want to put pressure on you. You know, this is completely off the cuff, so. Um, I don't know if I'm comfortable saying it now because there is a lot that I haven't actually said. 
Okay. That's my experience there. Let's so slow down. comfortable right in this moment. Please, yes, I agree. If there are any claims you want to make uh, that you, in the future, I would strongly recommend, you know, obviously substantiating them as best you can and putting something out if you feel that you need to do that. But yeah, don't just... Edwin, what the fuck are you doing, mate? <laughs> she said let me on in the chat. Okay. I mean, okay. Should, I, should, I, should I go? I'm sorry, I feel bad. No, don't, don't feel bad. It's not your fault. It's Edwin's fault, okay? Edwin's lost the plot right now. That's part of my fault too. I'll take a bit of sauce. It's, every, yeah, it's everybody's fault. <laughs> you know, we're all victims here. We're all victims of each other. <laughs> but you just, Mina just reminded me that Mina, it's your fuck with Mina bad. So like, okay, I, I'm ready to, I think I'm, okay, he fucked with me a lot because basically he like, I, I was tricked by him and his girlfriend to- she was sex trafficked, by the way. Essentially, I was- <laughs> Okay, th that's the sex trafficking clip, okay. <laughs> so I like how they were trying to like, uh, I guess like, um, pump the brakes about this whole thing, and then Edwin just throws that Hail Mary. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of see it. That, that is kind of so sussy. Yeah. That is kind of weird to just like. Yeah, he literally pulled his eyelid. Um, I think it's different scenario, but I, I see the criticism. Well, yeah. yeah. Sex trafficking isn't the same as assault, so technically it's different. <laughs> <laughs> well, not just that, but like. Uh, Zali wasn't in the car ride. Uh, Edwin was a close friend to Seer, and like obviously dated Mina after Seer did. So like he's more involved than Zali ever was with the Bab story. But like I understand the criticism that you shouldn't have like <laughs> you shouldn't have like throw that hail mary or some shit. Stop! Turn the force off on these. F what is going on? Well, <laughs> that's a serious you, allegation, and you're saying okay, like nothing. Okay, define trafficking to make sure I get it right. What is okay, let me let me explain why he is right, but I don't I don't know if I'd ever like it feels weird using that word. But Jesus, they did use me to basically fix their relationship in some way, where they forced me to have sex with them. And if I didn't have sex with them, his girlfriend would start breaking things and making me feel like I had to sleep in the bed with them. And if I didn't, they would get really weird with me, and it was a really horrible experience. And there was times where I thought I was sleeping with him, and then she would like force her way into it and it was really really weird but and th there's more but it's just th they're both fucked up and i told him about things that she did and he would just stare at me blankly as if like he didn't know it was happening oh i just got breaking news from uh the chad king news network that he was in the car ride with edwin salvo and babs so that that's interesting Crazy. yeah thank you chad king for your expert reporting analysis but it was happening in my face and all of our faces and yeah <laughs> okay so, let's just, the things are being said live. You can't put the two people back in the tube. What is this sex trafficking thing, Edwin? Okay, so let's define it, because yeah, I said that I kind of blurted it, but if we define it by what I believe it, just to make sure people understand what I believe, because I believe it's like to, to fly someone over um, for the purpose of sex without them knowing it, right? Well, and also, just to be clear, I was told that I was going to have an Airbnb. I get to the apartment. They show me around the apartment. I'm expecting to have somewhere. They, uh, when I get to the apartment, I think, okay, there's no Airbnb. So I'm going to be sleeping in a room. No, they take me to their bedroom where they point to the bed and they're just like, you're happy to sleep here, right? And I'm just like, welcome. I don't know, I guess. Like, I'm, I've literally just come here from London. Like, I'm 19 and I'm just like, okay, I, I guess I've got to say, yeah, because like, what other option do I have? They also paid for my flight, but they also lied about who paid for the flight. She told me she paid for out of her own pocket, but really she like made Sierra pay for it and I didn't even know that. And then, yeah, I get there and then it's just like, you're sleeping in this bed. And then I obviously like, yeah, I'm there for two weeks and I'm just expected to sleep in the bed all the time. But as soon as I don't want to sleep in the bed anymore, it was just weird. Sorry, I feel like now, now I'm starting to speak about it. I feel like I can't stop. Okay, just listen. Let me just say something here, okay? So first of all, sex trafficking is a form of human trafficking, which is when human beings are bought and sold by what are called traffickers. And sex trafficking is a specific version of that where they're used for sex, often prostitution. So someone is essentially sold across a border normally to... Well, to a yeah, I, 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 I'm not like a sex trafficking expert. I don't know the full definition, but I, I, I think what Chad's saying here is correct. Um, I think... Um, the, the way she described it sounded terrible. It sounded like, like she said, I was forced for sex between the two of them or some shit. And I'm not sure if that's sex trafficking, but again, regardless, that's still terrible. It's like the whole like Zaylee saying like, oh, I didn't accuse Edwin Salvo of rape. Well, you didn't, but you, like, you basically said the next best thing about that, right? Um. Edwin shouldn't have blurted out sex trafficking, I think. Um, I don't know how they go from here. A, a, a pimp or something and then they're put into prostitution. That is what sex trafficking is supposed to be. Yeah, so well, I guess that term isn't really right then. Well, yeah, and okay, so that's that's stricter than what I, I thought. Because, I mean, 
I think it can be used looser because even if you just do a quick Google, like the Wikipedia says, human trafficking for the purposes of sexual exploitation. Um, but it is, I guess, it, you know, it does have a strong connotation. So, you know, I, yeah, of like modern slavery. But uh, I mean, well, it, okay. So the reason why it's, it was weird is because she was promised like like modeling gigs and that she would have a, a separate um, Airbnb. Yeah, literally, I wasn't. I didn't come there expecting to be like full because basically she would take me. They would get her drunk this. and like not let her go out. Like it was, it was like fucking slavery. It was. The, yeah. So she up. she told me. That before like before i even flew over there she was like i'm i know like wilhelmina models i know this i know that and she was like if you're not getting enough work in london come over here i'll get you work i get there none Welcome of what she's promised Josh. is there she doesn't have any connections um, gifted a and then to contrast underscore ethic and and you know uh for the record like I, I i do have a lot of vlogged like on my older channel i i did catalog a lot of, and i know this is a kind of a derail from the original kind of claim and uh yeah i don't know how it ha happened but like i have vlogged like even my reactions to it like there's, there's videos of me reacting like this is really weird like because at first i was very confused because essentially like reaction to the fucking sexual crimes they were committing that's yeah i need to look more into this this is weird she she was deceived and like they would get her drunk and tricked her into being in a relationship three-way relationship which nicholas dioros and support modern day slavery that is true chad king he's also a a cuck by uh via the goldfish he didn't want to be a part of and um when i found out about this i was like what the fuck so like this is so, so weird and then serious girlfriend came to my room she's like i'm gonna fuck up your life how could you tell her that i deleted her instagram like they were fucking with her social medias all this weird shit like cool. that was weird and then they can they, they convinced her to cancel her flight back like weird shit was and ugh, so much more shit i feel really bad i feel like i've derailed like you guys' conversation no it's like, okay violet I, I just want to ask like how do you feel about all of this now um it's something like i still feel really awful about like it hurts me to this day and like i don't like seeing them um and it's something that hurts a lot like sometimes i don't know it, it's really it's it's awful i hate thinking about it it's like something that really impacted me because she told me that she was going to ruin my life and then she went out of her way she deleted my whole instagram and then went out of her way to act as if like i was a bad person and then contacted my friend i do remember something about like her instagram like being attempted to be deleted i do remember that in the coverage yeah friends she tried to ruin my relationships with everybody that i was mutuals with and then obviously it didn't work out for her haha <laughs> and now it's just like it's, it's in a weird spot at the moment it's just kind of nothing but it's still like that thing that happened in 2016 is always there like it's, it's happened to me and um obviously it seems like you've, you've got like a story to tell but what outcome if any would you want to come from talking about this stuff i think the big thing that i haven't really spoken about is the whole like the, the sex aspect of it and like the way that just felt awful of like being told that i was actually going to go out there for like work opportunities or connections and it was never that it was never ever that and that's kind of what still hurts me and it, i think what has hurt like something in the back of my head that i don't i don't want an answer to but i just will never understand why as a grown man seer like allowed a woman to fly cut out mina uh sounds like she cut out no it's fine i just what i wanted to say i don't know if she's still listening um but there are obviously ways and means that you can come out about this stuff but there's a lot of pitfalls associated with it and you know obviously it's kind of just come out on the stream randomly and some of these feelings but if there is a feeling that something wrong has happened like obviously you want to try and go for whatever official means you can first but if you're not able to rectify things to your satisfaction as a last yeah. resort you can potentially look to you know go public with something like this but then that requires right. you know collecting evidence well, and presenting it in a way that people are going to be able to watch it and you will still get even if you've got a very tight kind of like case to present you'll still potentially get a lot of backlash and it could really fuck you over so you know it was extremely difficult like we we contacted the police like they can't do anything because it's like the, the london police like if they're not in the country or england england i guess they're not they're not gonna fly you know so uh they did go to the police about this and I guess they reported a crime with Seer and his girlfriend. Someone out who is not even in the country legally. Like, did I miss something? What's up? With a 19-year-old, or did I miss something? Well, yeah. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Mina was 19 at the time. So what crime is? Th well, the crime is like, um, like Sex she, she, trafficking. Well, that's what Edwin blurted out. But no, the, uh, she was flown in from whatever she lived to wherever they live i think it was the states or some shit and like um she thought she was getting like a job opportunity but no it was really just like oh let's have sex now right between the t the two of us i need that right that's basically the allegation right like she wasn't aware about that that's so, so weird though like yeah i agree that like that allegation the way that's being presented yeah that's a weird thing i mean the bottom line is a legal adult consented to sex after also agreeing to fly over i mean 
that's not really a sex crime. Um, I think she said she was forced to sex. So for, well, that that'd be rape. Right. That's what the fuck. Wait, why don't they focus on that then instead of sex trafficking? Well, that's what Edwin blurted out, and that's God, why. Edwin that's what. Fucking dumbass. Well, yeah, that's. I I agree. He he. That deserves uh, criticism for that. Um, Dumpy is making the uh. <laughs> The video on Boogie 445. Good job, Dumpty. Boogie 445. <laughs> no longer Boogie 1488. Boogie 445. 1488. That's what Tom says a lot. What are all these numbers? Oh, you don't know about the, <laughs> the one I just said? I just, like, yeah, I dog whistled, that. like, Nazi shit. That's a 1488. Hold on. I, I know that it was a racist. I thought it was a slavery thing. Let me look it up. No, 1488, it's like the 14 words, and 88 is like, um, H. Hitler. I don't want to say it on YouTube.com, but it's like, you know, when it's like ice, like falling, and it's like hail, and then you say Hitler after? That That's basically what that is. Wait, wait, wait. She's wait. Like that's so weird. I don't understand. I, I don't understand. Fuck, whatever. I don't care. You're not a Nazi like me, Colin. It's okay. Even okay. there legally, she yeah. just over, she was trying to convince Mina to also overstay so her visa, happy. so she could like you know be locked. So it was it was a lot of manipulation going on. So like when I when Mina told me, I was like, what the fuck? This is so weird. Like they would get her drunk every night, and all this shit. And like this this is documented. So like you know like there's vlogs of them doing it. And um, um, so like you know, files, my my apologies files. if it was like my phrasing of of saying sex trafficking is is not quite accurate. But like I guess um, uh, I guess I guess if if the question was to me about like as far as like what what should like happen it's like he never ever 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 addressed it which you know like I my right. my videos on it have hundreds of thousands of views you know like he literally left YouTube instead of ever addressing it and then he went to Twitch and started over people people don't know that like his Twitch audience doesn't know that I remember when like soda pop and shit were fucking in my ad replies like oh he's a good guy I'm like you bitch you fucking barely met him like you don't well to be fair um this year like Edwin did like um like paint the picture that Sears like a bad guy and so is like his girlfriend I forget her name Dasha I think. But, like, um, I don't think he brought up, like, um, the sex trafficking allegation or, like, the, uh, him, um, talking about, talking with, like, fans that are, like, 16, 17 and him, like, sending or asking for pictures at, like, a 16-year-old girl. I don't think he's ever specified that in his old Seer videos, which is, like, what's up? Sorry, no, you go. I, I, you go. Oh, well, I'm just saying, like, um, I don't think he specified that, like, before. Now it's, like, coming out all on the stream and the stream where he was, like, drunk saying, like, oh, Sears a pedophile. Actually, no, he's a hepophile pedophile. Uh, Buggy 2988. He called him a. That's pretty <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, like,. Chat, can we get a one in chat if pedophilia is serious? I don't know. I might put it. Can we two. get a one in chat? If pedophilia is pretty bad. Yeah, I'll put two. Let's put one point five to, as a middle ground. I'm not sure. I'll put one. Fuck. Hold on. Edwin was right, not trolling. I never agree with Colin, but he's a good guy, I guess. <clears throat> Wait, when did I say Edwin's a good guy? <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck? I literally just uh, no. I messaged her like like that. I was on a stream about Edwin. What? Wait, wait, I don't understand. What did I? I got no. I, I got so no confused. clue. <laughs> no, like, it's like, Maybe I fucked. It was up. so weird and cringe. Like I've, I've no, I knew him since like two thousand eight. You know, and um, yeah, it's it's just weird that like he did all this and like I like I showed text messages in my videos of him yeah. saying, I'm sorry, man. She 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 makes me do everything. It's like, well, at least take some fucking accountability for being such a fucking pussy. You know, that's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But like he never did, and I mean, so like that's why I guess it's easier to tell like like from us. And it, yeah, it was awkward for as far as like you know when he would text like Snapchat people, like, but like for 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 that like I, I kind of just like. Cause he would also also criticize me because I did I probably made like ten videos in total or so or maybe like eleven or something right and um well like I made like two, two or three big ones but I would do like some vlogs kind of exposing big points and he would kind of like have a big criticism and he was a much bigger channel than me even then but like now I, my channel has grown and I've covered different topics and stuff because he would always just criticize oh he just obsessed making videos and me kind of dismissing everything it's like, okay whatever you know what I, I made my big videos and I kind of left it but um yeah I mean um like the dude the dude will run for accountability at all costs and whatever like we gave up because. We we did talk to police, but what are they gonna do? You know, like like Dasha also like posted Mina's passport on a fucking key, uh, locale, um, and like she, she's she's crazy. Like that woman is crazy. Like that's what Lava Loon was talking to me about. And when 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 someone that's Lava Loon that's crazy contacts you about someone that's crazy, that's when you know shit is fucking way, wicked. And like Lava Loon's not the only person that's contacting me about Dasha either. But, but, like, anyways, man. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, 
I think the like obviously a lot of this is very new information. Sorry, to me. On you. No, it's fine. It's fine. Listen, I can I can take it. It's just that a lot of this is very new information that I'm just having to immediately process. And my biggest thought process in this is like, if Sia has done some shit that's fucked up and left YouTube, and the, what you're saying is all true, and, and he's gone to Twitch and he's you know not really um, had to answer for any of this, that seems pretty crazy to me. I guess the issue is going to come down to, you know, what can be proven. Because if you do want to kind of publicize this further, you know, I'd obviously be happy to assist in doing that. But it's going to come down to what can be proven. Um, I think as far as yeah. our story can be proven, it, like everything we've said is like, like well, we've already made videos, it's, it's like hard shelled. The only things that Mina has not revealed that she was alluding to is stuff that obviously can't be proven because it's behind closed doors, like what like sure. they manipulated to doing stuff. So like we never shared, the, you know, she never shared those details. Right, so that wasn't made public. And like, um, yeah, I would say Edwin, Edwin's coverage from my understanding, like there was no issues with like, you know, like the hacking thing, for example, or like the breaking into like the account, like you seem to like, prove like the allegation but like um again like the stuff with the snapchat and shit like it's a tough conversation because like if you know something like if you're when i'm to edwin's like oh i've been sexting or try to sex with a 16 year old 17 year old girl or like he, edwin knows that but you can't really like point a finger at it like you can't really prove it right away. It's like, can you really talk about it or not? It's a real, it's a real tough one. But um, yeah, I don't think he should have blurted out sex, sex trafficking. I would say that's probably the biggest issue with the stream. And that's fine. Like, yeah, sense it. Okay. He did try to correct it, like, but I don't know. Like, it was, like, like, it was, like, let's, Chud was, like, basically, let's calm down, all right, let's, you know, let's not do something we don't want to do, and then Edwin's, like, oh, he's sex trafficking. Yeah, I, I, Edwin I, is, like, did he get the fucking drink from Babs? <laughs> yeah. He, I forgot everyone's always drunk. <laughs> yeah. Well, he wasn't drunk here, to his credit, but, um. Not yet. I thought he or, was. Well, no. I don't think so. He was drunk on the other stream, not on this one. Well, I mean, obviously, you know, I'm very sympathetic to someone who feels, you know, regardless of, of what the truth is of what ha what's happened, who feels they've had a certain experience, and you know, I think it's important that if they do want to come forward and be able to speak on it, they can. But I think it's just important to know what the pitfalls of that are, and you know, um, the importance of, of putting together something that is, is credible and people will be able to look at and come to sort of conclusions on it and look at it that way. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> we've, it's gone a bit fucking crazy, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't yeah. expect and, it to go this way. Well, uh, no, and look, I, I completely respect and, and agree with a lot of your, your criticism and stuff. And like a lot of the stories that I, I do cover is unfortunately like, um, I, I covered a big one. You know the group, The Antwerp? Like, yes, I, I do, yeah. yeah. So I covered a, a big story that a lot of people weren't, weren't talking about where they also flew a girl, like when the dude was like 40 or not 39, and it was like a 19 year old fan, and, and they flew from Australia to South Africa. And, uh, you know, she was also under the impression that like they were, you know, gonna be like a, a friendly thing. And then he like took her to the woods, all this other stuff. And, you know, not everything she says can be proven, but like he also corroborates a lot of stuff. And at the end of the day, like, especially international cases, like, I can't think of a pinpointed case of this kind of story where someone flies someone else and it's like some sort of um, legal thing gets solved and anything, you know? So like, at the very least, like I, I think there is sort of cases where it's beneficial to at least put pressure on people to say something publicly and address it because if you're not addressing it, why? Why? Like, because he never addressed it ever, anything. Weird. Because, and, and honestly, that, that's kind of why originally my channel is called Homeboy Edwin. Originally called well, it, it doesn't mean, um, if you don't say anything, that doesn't mean you're guilty, but it it, it it's it is sketchy if you don't, respond to like um allegations i would say like too mad basically maiming his allegation i don't really like that approach because he's not really addressing anything like he's like saying it's all bullshit but um, i'm driving in oregon i'm uh, uh i'm driving in oregon washington it's like I'm driving in oregon i'm driving in yeah oregon. <laughs> yeah it, it, yeah it's just meme central but he he doesn't like pinpoint like if the allegations are bs or not he just says it is like obviously it's innocent to prove it guilty, but he just looks fucking like an asshole, right? He he looks like an asshole. Uh, Sierra does isn't guilty by not saying anything, but like I would say, um, you know, I'll be more comfortable if Sierra said something, right? The homeboys got receipts because it was kind of like a I think I think I don't know it, it was kind of like a. A joke at some point, I said, like, yeah, I got the receipts. Because they were like, oh, you got receipts? Yeah, no, I got every fucking receipt on everything that I'm saying. So it was kind of like a play on that. The issue that. is with Too Mad, though. Sure, well, I mean, I think... What's up? Just real quick. Uh, the issue is 
he it, it's a deflection from actually responding to the allegations like he hasn't even said like with a straight face no they're fake this is terrible he's just been joking about it yeah like, for the most part yeah he did say it was like bullshit and like how like what she Saul said responded better mm-hmm but like what um too mad you said it was bullshit and like um how like it does it doesn't prove that he's like um what's it called like a rapist or whatever the claim was i forget because it's he just memes it for like the fucking death it's like i forget what actually happened but like he's correct in saying like the proof she had d doesn't equate to like a fucking like a guilty play but like him look like looking like an asshole like that shit wouldn't work in court like imagine you show up to court for like allegations of like sex crimes and you're just being like fuck you judge i'm uh, 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 i'm literally driving an organ uh like it's like fucking <laughs> forced confession right like and he says i'm oh, driving like, an organ judge like he's acting like a fucking like asshole like in court like imagine that right He's gonna fucking get a guilty plea because the judge ain't gonna have that shit. He's gonna be like, be held in contempt, and his lawyer's gonna fucking lose their mind, right? That's not that's not gonna like um, that's not gonna fly well, right? Your Honor, I'm driving an organ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. An organ. <laughs> right. He like brings a printed out picture so, of like, the Stonewall hedge. Head yeah. And like holding it up. <laughs> Your Honor, look, I'm driving an organ. Right, so, like, again, you shouldn't, like, act like an asshole and, like, not talk about it. Or you you shouldn't be, like, um, Mr. Silent. It, it does look sketchy, but it doesn't mean, like, he's guilty. The, you know, um, I mean, if there's these videos that I can watch, I'm, um, you know, tomorrow's stream, I can have a look at them and just... Oh, just getting around here a lot. And that's fine. I mean, look, you know, this is something that I think is, you know... I mean, listen, to put my cards on the table, obviously, I'm all about content, but, like, if there's some other thing going on where there's, like, something that's happened and this guy has, like, kind of just gotten away scot-free, that sounds kind of crazy to me. And I'd at least like to prod it a bit and just see, well, what's going on here? What's this all about? And obviously, you know, if you want to come forward and talk about it and put someone on the record, they can. No pressure, of course. Um, but, but yeah, obviously, you know, the person we just spoke to, if they want to speak and stuff, I'm, I'm happy to do so. But I just, I'm always a bit cautious because I'm always very critical of, like, these crusades to like cancel someone or something like that. So I think it's important to balance a, a, a critique or an analysis or putting out a story that's happened, you know, whilst not making claims that we can't push further or something like that if that makes sense so yeah 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 i feel i feel okay uh, well yeah, I, I accept so far your criticism has been very fair I, you know i don't reject it and you're free to be critical and if you watch any other content that's related to this year because it's it like yeah. besides the, the the drunken thing that i said i've said everything else because because i was drunken thing I, I never said it because it's obviously not something that i'm willing to squeeze out of people or whatever um but like some people have willingly told me so it's okay like to that some degree i'm not gonna score matter because of that it might have been more awkward if like i didn't have that but uh, you know um so yeah as far as like what we've shared me and Mina today like yeah it's all practically documented um, but yeah, just I guess to kind of um, add a little bit more context. So I, I hope when he says by documented, I mean like in private and not like because I don't think this was public beforehand. So like if you said like I filed the re police report at the time, then like yeah, I guess that's all you can do about that, right? Mina, um, it, it, and none of it really makes sense. So like Mina was in a, a weird long distance relationship with with Sierra. It was very short. Um, we kind of like a. Uh, dated her she flew over and then he cheated on her with this woman dasha and then dasha convinced him to um get fly her over and like essentially try to start a three-way and it was so weird uh so that's and, and then eventually like i actually formed a relationship through, with mina afterwards so like that's why i'm also very emotionally invested as well and you know a lot of it also like when people did share me stories about Sierra, it didn't feel like my place because of that internal bias of like well you know obviously i feel certain when people would judge on that so i understand that's why but yeah, i don't want to come up with mr girl by when well, we don't try to go after victims it just happens I mean, it's great. No, of course, yeah, yeah, sure. And I don't think, you know, like, at the end of the day, if you're saying there's vlogs that exist that I can just watch on stream and it shows something, and I'm happy to do that, you know, and see just, you know, I mean, listen, I'm not a fucking expert in anything. I just talk about this stuff a lot. And I think that, yeah, if someone is doing something that's wrong and there hasn't been, you know, not come up and I guess, <laughs> but like, yeah, some sort of, of my sex with yeah. Spawn Dial just got leaked. Nice. Or someone just okay, saying, look, okay. I did this and it was fucked up, or like, you know, I messed up here, or even responding and saying, that's not right, this is right. It sounds like Sears not done anything of that nature, and maybe there's been some fucked up shit that's happened here from what you're saying, and then nothing's happened. He's just kind of gone to Twitch and everyone's just accepted him, and now he's like riding hard on the OTK thing, you know? It sounds, it could be bad. Right, yeah, so. yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I was going to say, even like a lot of my own subscribers, like, don't really know the lore. Like, a lot, I see a lot of my chatters, like, a clueless, but like, um, that's because, like, I haven't, I don't talk about this regularly at all. Like, I don't, you know, I don't care. I do much different content. I've done, like, the last time I 
did a video anything related to to them it's probably been like i don't know maybe four years or something i don't know and you know i've, I've gotten much more traction in different kind of topics and stuff and so yeah okay. well covering new grounds that are old i will you know over the next week spend some time looking at what you've got up and maybe if you want to speak to me about this you know i can hear them out off the record on the record whatever um yeah and obviously it's a complete open situation we're not going to preload it or anything it's just if you've got something to say like the person we just spoke to happy to like talk on or off yeah. stream appropriately to kind of move forward with that so yeah okay oh, well. right that yeah, uh, into... any, any any more peaceful questions last minute or anything you want to ask uh... <laughs> well listen mate look i honestly have had a great time with you i know that i've been a bit exact okay i think that's a like there's still like two minutes left but i don't think there's going to be anything juicy so uh what did we learn in this uh this video from chad logic i think edwin shouldn't have blurted out the um I guess like the sex trafficking label, even though he might have believed that. Like he, he seemed to like amplify the situation rather than diffuse it. Like they seemed like they were trying to do. Like it is a rough situation to like um have like someone you're close to or someone like I understand like he had someone close to him have like a bad experience and like he knew Seer as like a friend and shit, right? So, like, from that point of view, I understand why it's a difficult situation where he obviously didn't want to talk about, like, the Snapchat thing and, like, um, when he was drunk, but he talked about it on this stream. Um, again, it's not exactly what Zyli did, but I still think it's a bad thing. I don't think he should have done that. Um, who else is in the call? Is Alex still here? I haven't heard him speak in a while. Uh, Alex left, left. Like two days ago yeah yeah all right Colton do you have any uh I guess final words about um this situation do you think uh, uh Edwin pulled the Xylee here against here I do yeah he, I mean, he made he used nodes of a situation to make a to add a label that was way out of bounds and at least with um Xylee even though nobody knows what the fuck really happened what she said could like have it's a wild interpretation of real events, but at least it's what could have a label that applied to it. If it's like constantly asking, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? And she's drunk and like, then, you know, there's something like it, the story's all muddled. But if, if like you wanted to believe the wildest thing, then sexual assault could be interpreted. But well, with the sex trafficking, it, yeah. it's out of left field. Um, right. And I guess like he did try to, course correct because like Chad had like that weird reaction right um and like Edwin gave out his like definition that he thought was sex trafficking but like um I don't know it, that shouldn't have been that shouldn't have been done well, plain and simple sex trafficking is defined as yeah 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 we need Nick on this this is fun uh yeah um mm -hmm. i'm gonna look further into this okay i guess like um keep researching yeah DJ's on the pace. p yeah p -paw said something according to abby i need to look into that too unless she just leaked like private shit <laughs> well um but yeah thank you stream for joining uh dj gets real like we talked about every single fucking topic that fucking Alex and Colton wanted and dumpy and all that Alex and Colton own you yeah um I'm gonna end the stream gonna have a great time and uh thank you thank you guys for watching goodbye I'm gonna go kill myself